What? I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> it looks it's like the, this broadcast was deleted on Facebook. What? We're live now. Uh, mm -hmm. No, we're not. Oh, now we are. Yes, we are. I don't know. I don't oh. know what happened. It just says it looks like it was deleted from Facebook. Wow. I don't know. I'm so sick of all these StreamYard issues. All right, well, we'll 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 run a watch party or something over there. I'll figure it out. But meanwhile, good evening, everyone. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Happy Hi, Thursday. <laughs> Hello, Skittles. Pat's coming to you direct from New York City. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Who's that lady behind you, Pat? Oh, that's my uh, girlfriend from New York. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's oh, you know, always on my shoulder there. Come on, get off. Get off. Yeah. All right, so we're going to say hi. We're, we're going to say hi to everybody. I can't figure out what happened on Facebook. I'm not going to worry about it. Penny Day, thank you as always. She went and dropped the link over there. And yeah, thank you, Penny. Saw that. And we're good. So people can click on the link and come over and watch us if they want. Um, I don't know what happened. All right. Let's see who we have. Let's see who we have. First one in the chat. Hello, hello, Lisa Flipping Crazy. Hi, Lisa. Lisa. Lisa's in trouble with me today. Because she didn't set up her microphone. <laughs> no, because I was running around. But I, I have something to make up for it later when, when uh, we're showing stuff. So. All right. Okay. Promises, promises. Hello, James. Storage scavenger. <laughs> Hello, Cajun reseller. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. And there she is, Miss Penny Day. Hello, Penny. How's, how's, Paul, how's Paul doing tonight? Good. How are you? Uh, I'm a little annoyed, I'll be honest. Oh, yeah, I heard. Yeah, it's I'm a little fun. Annoyed. You know, I, it's, I, I am a firm believer, and even when I used to teach realtors about social media, I always tell everybody, don't put your personal information online. Don't put your real birth date, your real information like that. Of course, as a realtor, my name has to be out there and my office address, but you should never put your real birthday and stuff. Well, that, that's the problem here in, if you own anything, anybody can find you. True. That's, that's the problem. True. So I mean, it's uh, so yeah. it's so easy today. That's why they have to come up with better authentication processes, and why they don't use. I I know, I you know, I I'm torn because a lot of people feel one way about something and another way about something. But you know, I mean, for years they talked about a national ID card that can be fa faked, phony, whatever. They talked about certain things, but this is this is not available to anybody but me. You know, and I don't know. Right. People feel like then they're an invasion of privacy. I, I guess well, because I have nothing to hide. If I can vote with this and I can send a card yeah. with this and I can go to motor vehicle with this and whatever, I don't know. I, I'm okay with that. I never, I never liked the fact that you know, I always worried about women that if their purse got stolen, people knew where they lived. Yeah. Why, why couldn't they have like a code on there that basically when you get pulled over by the state trooper now they all have computers just swipe it and then they can find out the true address and that's how it should be for a lot of things that basically uh people like my background actually you could see me here i'll step out i'm using the green screen can you, can you, <laughs> this is so can great you see, can you see me there oh there you are there you are see me right oh, there cool. yeah that's pat d's i see pat d's that's great but now you're blocking them. But you see now, if you moved your chair over to the to the other side, to the corner, we could see both of you. Pat D's could be side by side with Pat T. Do you, do you just want me to sit outside? No. T, uh, T would it be? Would those be double D's then? <laughs> don't be talking um, about my ladies yeah. on the show. Don't get Lisa wound up. Oh. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's get this. Lisa has me start. blushing. <laughs> All right. 
I'm just gonna. I have the peach, thing. Pat. I have it right here. So uh, don't bring that on when I'm on. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Are we saying hi to everybody? Um, you putting their names up? Yeah, uh, Lisa. Lisa lives close, actually, by me where I grew up. Uh, Lisa Schallingberger. So I always tease her about meeting at Jimmy's Hot Dogs. So, uh, yeah. Uh, hi, Connie. Hello, Sergeant Hi. Spork. Welt. What does that mean? Three years of high school German. I can pronounce it, but I can't remember. <laughs> oh, wow. Why would you take German in high school? I don't even know. I don't <laughs> even know because I wanted to be different, Paul. It was about being different. I didn't want to go with the mainstream of taking Spanish or the language of love french and i wasn't I italian so i had no reason to I take italian <laughs> yeah for nothing <laughs> hello flipping frozen donna how are you tonight hello. oh 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 i thought you were talking to me <laughs> hello d hello hello ken um, hey, while we're saying hi to everybody, put some notes in the um, chat of what you're looking for tonight. Cash. What's, what's hello, Sandra Antonelli? Hi, oh. how are you? Why does Why does she have a picture of uh, what is that? Oh yeah, what is that? What the heck? Uh, when, you, when you go to When you go to Starbucks the, and you have your dog with you, they say, well, "Do you want a puppuccino?" And all it is is a small cup full of whipped cream. Oh my so, god! Of course, I say yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> I love it. I take Maddie with me every the dog Maddie everywhere. Hello, Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Buying space. Hello, T and Paul. Hello. I guess Pat and, and Lisa don't count. <laughs> yeah, really. What do we chop liver? <laughs> if you want to say hi to Lisa and Pat, just put in Hello, cutie pie and double D's. <laughs> Just don't put in too much information. I'm already wound up. Yeah. <laughs> it's about to get real. Hi, Kim. Does anybody have what? So, Where is uh, it? Are we Toys? allowed to ask what happened or is it a secret? Does anybody have a chance? No, oh, I, I was just Rainbow, loud, uh, right. doing the... Um, um, Showing the green screen, and all of a sudden, I was about ready to end. And someone put my uh, physical address in there that I don't get mail. So some troll came in and just put my address, and uh, it was strange because I, I don't, I don't really use it. So uh, he doesn't use it at all because him know. and I correspond all the time, and I don't even know his personal address. That's scary. Can we can we go to Match dot com mode for a second? Because Andrew Howard uh, would be looking yeah, for a date with Lisa. <laughs> Andrew, behave. Andrew's got to be a good boy. <laughs> no Lisa for you. <laughs> Hi, Abraham. Hello, Abraham. Hello, Sue. Rainbow Bright. Does it, do any of you guys have any Rainbow Bright stuff? I haven't seen Rainbow Bright I stuff. I haven't seen Rainbow Bright oh, forever. God. Yeah, even sourcing and estate sales and stuff. I haven't seen any. No. Oh, Don. Don's looking for a set of new lungs. Oh, Don. I'm right so now. sorry, Don. And you know what, Don? At this point, it's not about va vanity. Don's upset because he's having trouble breathing, and they want him to wear oxygen, and he doesn't want to do it. Well, you need to do it, Don. You need to do yes, it. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Anthony. Welcome. Hello, Pittsburgh. Anthony, how are you? Hello, storage scavenger. Mother's Anthony, mustache. <laughs> mother's mustache sounds like a, a swear. When every time, sometimes <laughs> I'm going to swear. Your mother's mustache. My mother said it all the time. Oh, your mother's mustache. Yeah. <laughs> or your father's mustache, actually. Mother's mustache, yeah. <laughs> but that's Ansley. How are you, Ansley? Thank you for coming. And Mr. Jonathan Rosenberry. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, Heidi. Dolly, did anyone bring pizza? Oh, I've been dying for a slice of pizza. Actually, a whole pizza. 
Oh, now it's pizza. First it's cookies, Dolly. Now it's pizza. It's All nice. right. <laughs> She's going to kill me. Hey, Bobby Pizzelli. <laughs> Bobby, what's happening? <laughs> Source from paradise. Hello. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Big Red. There he is. Big Red. How are you, hon? Big Red, little D's. Chai Mom? Just leaving the Goodwill. Hope you got some good deals. Hard to do that these days. Hello, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. No cooking in a mo. Hello, cooking Inamo. Inamo, welcome. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Hello, Lisa. Oh, my chat jumped again. Hello. I don't know where we are. Joy Munkins here. Hello, Joy. Sylvia, what's happening? Thanks for being, uh, experiencing that last night, T. I'm not going to go by that chat at all. That was crazy. Kept jumping so much. On Virginia it. Toys and Treasures. Virginia Toys and Treasures. Are you a comic? Do you have a comic book store? Just wondering. I put it out there the other day, but I didn't. I think the chat was going too fast. Pat D's. How you doing, Pat D's? Nah, I'm a little bummed out, actually, I'll be honest. <laughs> Connie Chan. Patricia, husband and kid. Right now. Oof. Oh wow! Sorry, it's I, yeah. I didn't see Patricia in the chat tonight. You know, Connie and Patricia are sisters, so. Oh no, I didn't know that. Yeah, Patricia Shelby and Connie, um, but Patricia's been here and have been. They've both been great support of the channel, and both have been. So our prayers go out to, um, to her husband, and hope all goes well. Is is it that like happening within the next day or two, Connie, or is it something that's long term? Sometimes it depends if you're on on the list or not. Wow, I can't imagine myself. Can't imagine. Oh, Dawn, thank you. Look at Dawn for all the women in the house. Thank you, Dawn. Oh, you do? Okay, Dawn. Wow. Oh, okay. Now, I got to say, Dawn... I, I I was at uh, I was at a store, I think it was Walmart, um, a month or two ago, and yes, there was Andrew, a woman. Pizza is better. <laughs> there was a, a woman on oxygen, and what was she doing outside Walmart but smoking a cigarette? I thought you needed oxygen so you don't smoke the cigarette. So I just I, you kind of want to slap those people, but you know. It's 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 hard. It's like any addiction. It's hard to give it up once you do it for so long. I mean, I was a smoker for years. Yeah, I think I in my whole life, uh, two puffs of a cigarette. That was it. You're so lucky. You're so lucky. That was it. And Skywatcher Sandra, welcome. Hello, Skywatcher. Hello, D. Where uh, I think which um, hello Christine, new name to me. Thank you, Don. No store, but we have a lot of comics. Cool. I used to have a store way back in the day, but I'm always looking for comics. All right. Now, Pat D's, are we having an issue with you? Am I, like, are you, um, you seem like you're not there. Yeah. You're, He's like I'm, stuttering frozen. You're a little frozen. I oh, I don't know. It may, maybe maybe it's the power of the green screen overtaking it, too. Maybe. Your max, your max headroom right now. Yeah, yeah. that's what he looks like. <laughs> oh, really? I'm surprised everybody knew who that was. Why wouldn't we know? Paul, <laughs> <laughs> all of us on the panel are, you know, well, we'll just say Pat D72 and and okay. older. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I forget what year that came out. Yeah, Lisa C. Hi, honey. Yeah, my doctor told me smoking addiction just as hard, if not harder, to break than a heroin addiction. I think Chantex. Sorry. Wow. It, it, it worked for me. I never did heroin either, so. No, I thank God. <laughs> <laughs> thank God not. 
And the conversation goes right down the tube. I know, right? We went from <laughs> auctions to addiction. <laughs> Anything here over at auctions for you. All right, let's have an auction. Let's have an auction. <laughs> All righty. Everybody ready? All right, you're up first, Paul. What? I, uh, I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. You were the first one in the room. That's why you're going first. <laughs> All right, we'll start with this. Light Seekers Awakening Mari Hero Pack. It's the hero uh, figure augmented reality trading card. Start this at $10 shipped because it's, it's big. It's not that heavy, but it's big. Brand new in the box. It's Light Seekers. Uh, if there's no interest, just hit pass, and we will. Um... All right, guys. We have ten dollars shipped on the Mari Hero Pack Light Seek Mari Hero Pack. Yes. Anybody want to do ten dollars shipped? And let me just tell everybody that um, today's auction. I have a mystery box that I'm going to do as my last item. I'll show it to you right now. No bids yet. It's 18 pounds. There's $150 worth of stuff in here. Okay. And that's going to be my last item. And for everybody that wins an auction from me tonight, they're going to get this little box free. Well, not everybody. We're going to, everybody that wins will throw their name in a hat and we'll pick out a name before I do the mystery box uh, piece. <sighs> that was a mouthful. <laughs> That's what so she ten said. Ten oh, boy. Lisa. <laughs> Sorry. Anybody or nobody? Do we have any interest in the Light Seeker for $10 shipped? Light Seek Amari Hero Pack. Virginia Toys and Treasures comes in at 10. Thank you. Dolly, would you like to go? To, yes, Dolly goes 12. Thank you, Dolly. Thank you, Virginia. Well, Robin usually says it, but she's not here. Well, don't say where she is either. How would Lisa know where she is? I'm confused. No, don't speculate like, oh, you're on the corner, you know, something like oh, that. Oh, why? Just because we're talking about Robin, who talks about Susan being on the corner? Yeah, I mean. All right, Don goes 13, Dolly now at 15. Collect them all. All right, we're going to go once to Dolly at 15. Yes, Barbie Crafts. How are you, honey? I'll have some things, both, actually, jewelry and crafts. All right, going once now to Dolly at 15. Thank you, Ken Ward. I had the same question, too. Going twice now. Oh, plush. Oh, okay. Going twice now to Dolly. And last and final call. I'll have some of that tonight, too. To Dolls Dolly for $15. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Dolly for $15. Congratulations, Dolly. Thank you, Dolly. 
All right, patties. Yes. <laughs> Anybody know the leg tonight? Was there any leg? Lag? Yes. Like no, no, it's not. It's like two seconds. I just saw him smile and say yes when I asked that question on YouTube. So we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, it's almost in, yeah, it's not bad at all. It's definitely not bad at all. Yeah, okay. Uh, thanks for uh, allowing me to come on at uh, last minute notice. No worries. Anytime. Yeah. Pat, you have to be on. Yeah, um, I may skip around here or there. Um, okay. You know, to allow Lisa and Paul to, because uh, like, again, I'm a, I'm just tagging along tonight. So, um, Skittles. Yes. Skittles. Yes. You don't mind I'm here hanging out with you tonight, do you, honey? No, I'm glad you're here. I've been asking T to bring you back. Oh, okay. She loves when you're here. Well, I, I sometimes get the, you know, the eye roll. So I just want to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my first slot is going to be a, a DVD. Obviously, I'm uh, king of DVDs lately. It's uh, all kids. There's 40 of them. Uh, 40 kids DVDs. Oh, see, that's uh, okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. Okay. There you go. There you go. Yeah, as long as I don't interfere with the background, but it'll be 40 kids DVDs. Uh, Twenty dollars, starting at twenty dollars. Uh, shipped. So we'll start out, uh, Alvin and the Chickmunk squeak along. Hey, Sp Tiffany. SpongeBob. Oh, see how that does that now? So yeah, we're that's, I told you when I tried it out the other night, it was doing that for me. That's how I didn't know how you got away with it with your Christmas tree, but now you're telling me that was actually a banner, not a green screen. Yeah, that, that was a backdrop. Wow. Okay, that's good to know. This is why we test this out because look at the effect of that. Okay, so um, basically, what I have to do is don't do it uh, if we're going to do auction. Don't do a green screen like that. So, uh, SpongeBob. All right, Don starts us off at twenty. Curious George. And I could go after this. I'll go back and adjust this so it won't do that again. Turtle okay. tails. Shark tails. Home on the Range, Dr. Seuss, Horton Hears a Who. Horton Hears a Who. T, I like when you did with your green screen and you like backed away or something and you disappeared, then you showed up like on Star Trek. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I was playing with that. <laughs> the White Seal. Yeah, it's you associated with the green screen coupled with reflection. Sergeant Spork, the art major. Hello <laughs> in Grouchland. Mas uh, masquerade Madness. I almost said Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. That's no kids' mu uh, movie. Uh, Blues Clues, Riding the, the Hood. Dora the Explorer. It's Riding Hood, like Red Riding Hood, not yeah, Riding little, in the Hood. Yeah, little, little Blue Riding Hood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this boy. this kid's lot's getting a little out of control. Yeah, first day. <laughs> Paw Patrol Winter Rescues. Spider Man. Um, you know, the kids volume six um cartoon. Nick Jr. Super Babies Dora Explorer. Dora the Explorer Once Upon a Rhyme. Barbie the Island Princess. Hot Wheels Breaking Point. Frosty the Snowman. Thomas, this is Thomas and Friends. Tom and uh, Jerry's Greatest Chases. Baby Genius Favorite nur Nursery Rhymes. Again, there's 40 of them. $20 ship. Flushed away. Hey, James S. Welcome. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles Forever. Oh, you know why? There's there's so much green on this box. Yeah. That it's being lost. Yeah. Disney's Winnie the Pooh, a, a very merry poo year. <laughs> Bratz Kids Fairy Tales. 
That's about 30 of them so far. Land Before Time. Mission to Mars. Over the Hedge. Sergeant Spork says try adjusting the tolerance on the green screen program on the computer. It's yeah, the, the thing is I'm, I'm not the host, so I need to go out of a different screen and, and do an adjustment. No, you oh oh okay, because you can't do it at the bottom where it says cam mic. No, well, I, I maybe have to go to a setting, so but oh, I don't okay. want to put you guys up on this. Santa Paul's baby Einstein lullaby time. Nickelodeon, uh, Happy Halloween. Again, this is all kids on this one. I will have a comedy lot and an action uh, lot too. Uh, Leo Stitch, um, How to Train Your Jag Dragon, DreamWorks. DVD, uh, Read and Share Bible for kids. Uh, Disney's Planes. The Ant Bully, DreamWorks. Thomas and the Toy Workshop, the trains, and Scooby-Doo and the chi uh, Cyber Chase. And that makes up the 40 uh, DVDs. All right. We have Don Bargain Hunter at 20. Anybody want to go 22? Yeah, there is an adjustment there for that. Let me let me hold that up and see. Hold the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one because that one was the one that seemed to be with the green. Well, that's because it had so much green. I think that one you, you, you'll probably never be able to adjust because um, uh, it's in the stack here. Let me see if I like if that one, but I can't adjust it every time. Let's see. Yeah, see, I have to yeah. go eliminate the green screen. Otherwise, I get lost. See, <laughs> where did Pat D's go? <laughs> where, oh, where is my Pat D's? Carmen, hey Carmen, 25 from Carmen, 27 now from It's About to Get Real. Yeah, on your computer, you'd have to play with it. See, I don't know that we have a setting because it's technically StreamYard's green screen, right? I don't right, know. yeah. Yeah, 29 now from Carmen. Yeah, see how it go with the green on the DVD because here's where it's none. Here's what it looks like with the green. Right. Now. And then once you put in that effect, and then, you know what? This is part of learning it, and I don't want to hold up you guys anymore if you want to start calling it, T. Uh, you, okay. get, you get 40 of the kids' um, DVDs. Where Carmen's at 29. Shipped. We're going to go once now. Yeah, it's nice when I don't have to show nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's beautiful for a talk show. It's just not going to be conducive for an auction. That's all. Right. And that's that's good to know. <clears throat> Don now at 35. We have Carmen. Nope, Carmen. We have Don at 35 first, honey. 37 now from Carmen. I'm going to throw in uh, five. Hold on, guys. Five more since we got the – and these are really good ones. Shrek 2. Walt Disney Holes. Piglet, the big movie. Um, Kung Fu Panda Secrets of the Masters. And Disney Spooky Buddies. So now I, since we got the 35, I upped it to uh, – Five more. So you'll get 40. Right. So you buy a green screen, and what else do you need? No, you don't need anything else, um, the Real Real Housewife, because um, they give you two backgrounds, and you can upload any background you yeah, want. Yeah, you can. Have, I just figured when we were down a little bit, you can have 10 backgrounds. 10 backgrounds uploaded. Yep. Okay. All right. Going twice now. To Carmen. Yep. Nope. Dawn comes now in at 40. Oh, thank you, Don. Yeah, you just need to have backgrounds, and you could just download the backgrounds. You don't have to buy them or anything. You know, I have my auctions for you as a background, but, again, I can only do it, like, if we're having coffee or, you know, having a talk show. 42 now from Carmen. Okay. 
I'm going to have a comedy lot, like I said, an action uh, action slash drama lot tonight. Too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Don says he is out. We'll go once now to Carmen at 42. What program lets you have backgrounds? The StreamYard. Uh, you can do it. It's This is a green screen, but then backgrounds is something different. Now, um, T, do you pay for uh, yours? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a paid. Uh, but as I start doing more, getting back to doing more lives, um, I may do it. Yeah, I mean, I, I go live so often I have no choice because StreamYard only gives you those so many hours. hours. Right. Yeah, right. And I go a lot more than that. Right. All right, going twice now to Carmen at 42. And last and final call for $42 for the 40 children's DVDs. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Carmen at $42. Congratulations, Carmen. Thank you, Carmen. I appreciate it. I have my email, I have my email in there. If you need to reach out to me where I can send what do you I work. pay for? I pay for the subscription to StreamYard to stream on YouTube. Oh, he hey. comments asking what's a green screen. <laughs> okay. All right. We're gonna, call this, we're gonna call this the bling lot. The bling lot, okay. Yeah. Um this, I guess, you could use as a bow tie or a choker. What are you starting this off at? Um, 20 ship. All right. Yeah. This she didn't get it hooked up yet, at least, uh, Donna. Yeah, right. <laughs> you never know, Kim. You never know. <laughs> There's always a lid for every pot. Okay, and that's it. This still has the uh, plastic on the back that has to be peeled off. And the name of this is the watch is called Techno Pave. Techno, can you? Uh... Techno Pave, like Pave uh, jewelry, the inset rhinestones, that's called Pave. Pave. Okay. Techno Pave is the name of the watch. Can you show the watch a little bit better? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of bling on that watch. Wow.
Hi, Nate. All right, any interest in the Bling Lot? $20 shipped. You got the Techno Pave watch, the rings, and the Chippendale bow tie, as Ken Ward so uh, offered that up as one he wore similar when doing his Chippendale act. <laughs> We'd love to see that video, Ken Ward. <laughs> considered a rapper's watch. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey, Nate. When did you sneak in? I meant to mention, too, when Anthony was on, I, uh, I got sidetracked. But uh, Pittsburgh and uh, Nate do a great morning show every day at 10, 10 a.m. If you guys um, are home or can listen at work. Uh, they're usually interviewing another reseller about what they do with reselling. So make sure to pick both of them up. They alternate channels on that. All right. Penny Day Pass starting at 20. Um, oh, yeah. It's starting at 20. Yes, correct. All right. Any interest? Any interest? fine we can pass go ahead all right i guess that means i'm up i'm up all right i am going to do a men's lot men's men's lots um and we can start this off at uh 25 shipped And we'll start it off with a galaxy medium men's shirt. It's white and it has some polka dots in the backgrounds. And then we have a, this is a Gildan size 2XL men's shirt, short sleeves. Oh, and it's branded, actually. I didn't even realize that. It was so nicely folded. I didn't want to unfold it. It's branded Public House 49 Kitchen and Bar. I don't even know where it is, but who cares? <laughs> it's like it's almost like it was never worn. It was so nicely folded. Um, then we have a pair of... These are Galaxy Men's Shorts. They are a size... 32 belt belted cargo shorts and we have another pair of new with tags men's galaxy and they are a size 32 white belted. Um, I think these are the same in like a, a brilliant blue, almost a turquoise color. Or a, they're not open, they're still in their package. So I, I'm hesitant to take it out, but it's also a size 32. They're the same as the white. They're belted, <clears throat> same style of shorts. And again, they're like a uh, very brilliant blue. Very brilliant blue. Then I have here a men's Miami Tees Extra Large that ironically says Florida on it. Look at that. It's branded Florida. And this is a 2XL. It is new, but I'm going to take it out of its package. I'll, I'll package it back up. Um, it's branded the Palms, actually. And it's a 2XL. It's a golf shirt. 
two XL. So you have one. This one was extra large, two. The shorts, two of the same style, just two different colors, one in blue, one in white. That's four. Um, men's shorts as well. These ones were also a 32, just a little bit of a different style in black. Also new with tags. Five. The Gildan 2X dry blends with the branded public house kitchen and bar on the back is six. And then the men's new with tag size medium galaxy shirt. Any interest in the men's lot? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. New with uh, they're really I think six are new with tags. Just the one shirt is, uh, and one of the shirts is not new, and one of the shirts does not have tags, but it's never been worn. You have seven pieces, guys. Any interest? If not, just type pass, and we'll move on. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome. Guys, don't forget, go ahead and hit the three dots next to everybody's name. Make sure you're picking up everybody's channel, as well as my guests on the panel for the auction. You guys can always type in the chat so that people can hit the three dots next to your name and uh, pick, you guys, pick everybody up. I don't see a pass and I don't see a bin. Any interest in the men's lot? <laughs> Are you guys there? Bueller? <laughs> Bueller? <laughs> Is my chat stuck? <laughs> thank you, Penny Day. Somebody's out there. Okay, Andrew, thank you. All right, we'll pass on it. We'll bring it back another time. All right, Paul, you're up, honey. Okay, I'm going to do a um, jacket, shirt, lot. I don't know how many total yet. We're going to start it at 25. All right. First one we have is a hoodie. And this is... Okay, Cindy. What was the name of this one again? Metal Militia. Full zipper all the way down, front pockets. And it is size large, authentic Metal Militia. That's one. This is very heavy. Cleveland Indians sweatshirt. Very nice. Heavy. Got to be warm. This is authentic also. Cleveland Indians double XL. Two. Another sweatshirt. I think this is Chicago. Chicago Cubs. Nice and heavy also. This is a sar slot. Yeah. Size 2XL. It's got a white stripe going down the sleeves. It's not actually a... It is a sweatshirt, but it's not... Um, sweatshirt fabric. I forget what they call it. 100% cotton. But I don't, can you see the? There you go. Kind of the design, the style. This is an LL Bean Woman's XL Pet. Is that petite? XL petite? Isn't that an oxymoron? 
Everybody thinks that. My husband always says that. How could it be a petite if it's a 2X? It has yep. to do with height and the shortness of the body versus the size of the body. Ah, uh, okay. So anybody who's usually female anyway, five, six and under is usually a petite. It doesn't matter if they're a small, a large, a 4X, they might still be 5'5". Five, five. <laughs> oh, so a shorty. A shorty. So the, the, you can see inside the um, cuffs are the same as like where the collar is and it's full buttoned down. This is pretty heavy too. Almost like denim. Yeah, it's nice. Metal buttons that say something. L.L. Bean, of course, right? There's the cuff. Then we have Patagonia. Nice name. Patagonia size medium. Patagonia size medium, you know. Don't you know? Patagonia. Patagonia size medium. Here we go. Patagonia. Heidi Leslie starts us off at 25. Thank you, Heidi Leslie. And this is the last one. It's a SciTech, SDI Tech. 90% polyester, 10% nylon. 27 from Harley Kitten and 29 now from It's About to Get Real. And this is a size extra large. This, I believe, is a golf vest. Very nice, though. Very um, comfortable. This is almost like wearing a plush sweatshirt. This this fabric out here uh, feels like, what do they call it? Um, Microfiber? Yeah, like the rain would bleed off it. Right. A bead off it, I mean. And what does that say? Caledonia? Caledonia Golf and Fish Club. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Zippered pockets, so you don't lose your balls. So that's one. Is that somebody asked? Water resistant. Um, it feels it. Polyester nylon, made in Macau. Macau. Hang to dry. kitten. It doesn't say, although the side SDI tech and the feel lends me to believe it might, but I am not going to guarantee that it, if you stand in the rain, you're not going to get wet. <laughs> 32 now from It's About to Get Real. That's one. Patagonia is two. L.L. Bean is three. But the nice cups. Um, and Antigua Sport is this one. That's one, two, three, four, five. Is Cleveland Indians? Hey T. Yes, honey. How does that sound? Good. Very good. Yeah, you sound okay. Six Has is middle. Okay, good. Just See, it wasn't hard to put up. This is a hoodie. I think the hoodie is just missing the, um, the string. Yep. So that's six. And what is this? And just to make it interesting. I'm going to add these. Levi's 550 42, size 42. Size 42. Oh, they're shorties. 
Oh, Levi Shorties. Levi Shorties. <laughs> I was wondering why it didn't have a length on it and it just said 42. That's why. <laughs> it's a pair of shorts. <laughs> Very nice condition. Don wants to make sure, yes, Paul, you got to hang on to your balls. <laughs> yes. Although I only went golfing once in my whole life. It's so about all, the reel is at 32. You get all that for one money. All right. We'll go once now, too. It's about to get real. Hello, Francesca. Bid high, bid often. Don't forget your name is going to go into the hat for the mystery giveaway. Mystery giveaway. Da 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 da. Mystery giveaway. Don't be late because it's your date for the mystery giveaway. <laughs> oh my God. <gosh. sighs> Going twice now to it's about to get real at thirty-two dollars. Now you can't tell me you don't remember that commercial. Of course I do. Don't tell anybody what it is in case they wonder what it is. Last and final call. It's about to get real for thirty-two dollars. Going once, going twice, and we are sold. All right, I'm done. I'm freaking done. Sorry. Why would happen? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. What happened? Sorry. She just blew. Just rubbed me the wrong way one too many times. She's gone. Okay. I didn't see that. Okay. All <laughs> right. It's about to get real as Kim, right? Kim, yes. yes. Thank you, Kim. Hi, how are you? Thank you <laughs> for having me. Yes, let's stay positive. I appreciate yes. the opportunity to come on here. Yes. And I don't like negative people. Negative people can move on. Right. I don't blame you. So thank you. Um, this is a comedy uh, DVD lot. Oh, what was the jingle? Mystery giveaway. Mystery. Gi How was it, Paul? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Paul, Paul, Paul's muted. He doesn't realize that he's there swinging and singing. Yeah. How did it go? Mystery giveaway. You don't remember the, the real commercial? Mystery. Uh, no. Uh, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't come along to the 70s, but... Oh my. Well, it must be in the 70s. I, I know the Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. Have a yabba dabba yep. do time. Okay. Have a do time. Well, anyway, go ahead. Okay, we're going to bring up our uh, DVD comedy lot here. There's 32 of them, yeah. and we're going to start at $20. Uh, the first one is... All right, comedy lot, $20 shipped. Yep, shipped. Yep. I'm trying, I'm trying to make uh, you know uh, lots here that basically, if you want to keep some of the movies and resell them, we'll do you know you do whatever you like. And for what it costs to ship twenty, I could ship thirty, the same as twenty. So um, you know, I hope you guys enjoy. And if we get to a certain amount, I always throw in a couple extra too. So we're gonna start thirty-two uh, comedy DVDs at twenty bucks. So good boy. And you can see I fixed the green screen. Uh, driving lessons. Santa Claus 2, Elizabeth Town, Can Hardly Wait, Trans America, The Sweetest Thing, That's My Boy, That's My Boy, Epic Movie, Unrated, Romancing the Stone, and Buying Space starts us off at $20 for the comedies. Anger Management. Uh, maybe I need that tonight because uh, <laughs> <laughs> Scooby-Doo. Hey, you got to hold people accountable for their behavior. Don't worry about it. You know, it's not like it's been the first time. It's no, just, don't it's, worry about it. 
It's been multiple visits. Yeah, with if, negativity. You don't, right, if you don't enjoy coming here, then what, what are you here for? <laughs> yeah. Um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Austin Powers Gold Member. Rookie of the Year. South Park, the movie. My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Love that movie. <laughs> Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Don at 25. Ernest in the Army. Buying Space Now at 27. Carol Burnett Show, uh, episode 1022 and episode 719. It's a two-episode DVD. The Holiday. America. Oh, another good movie. I might yeah. have to buy this lot. <laughs> America's Sweethearts. Kingpin. If you, do you like that movie, The Holiday? Yeah, I did. I'll look for one. I'll get you one for free. Don't I worry. think I watched it a couple of times. Yeah, if I find it. probably another have it on Netflix or Hulu or. No, that's the problem. You know, they don't have a lot as much as you might think because they're trying to be like HBO and create their own things. Uh, try to go there and look for a Charles Bronson movie on Netflix. You're yeah. Not find it. Uh, Euro Trip. Even uh, Amazon, a lot of times you find these movies, they want to charge you 3 or $4 to rent it. Yours, mine, and ours. The Mighty Max. Uh, Return to Me. The Cookout. Uh, waiting. Uh, Jackass number two unrated. These were always goofy and funny, but when you need a good laugh, watch these. Yeah. And then Ernest Saves Christmas. So those are the 32. Um, like I said, we, where are we at right now? Uh, buying you have 27 by buying space. At $27, right. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, and that's why I try to price them, Kim, so that they're, you know, in a sense that, um, you know, go, go to, go to you know, you, you go to Walmart and, and you know, any 5 to $25 for uh, DVDs. So, uh, you know, this is a nice to kind of pick up a bundle of them. And then what you don't want, you could sell, a, you know, yourself a flea market. Some of the, believe it or not, like I've been separating them, stuff like this. This is hip hop ads. I'll put this on uh, eBay for like seven or eight bucks. It will sell because they're, they're workout, um, you know, DVDs and stuff like that. So I, I go, I, I still sell. Oh, and another thing is with the DVD lots, I always give a couple of those VHS sealed Lord of the Rings, uh, Rush Hour 2, Gold Member. You'll get like three of those. Uh, those are automatically uh, included with it. So. All right, we have buying space at 27. Anybody want to go 29? We'll go once now to buying space. Here's one I found. Like, I'm going to sell this probably on eBay. This is the Ringling Brothers Barlam and Bailey Sylvanair DVD. They don't have the circus no more. No, wow. So, yeah, if you really want to get uh, a feel of the circus. $30 uh, now from Dawn. This is a nice um, nice one. So sometimes these unique ones, I was at a place today, and I picked up a bunch of new ones actually sealed um, for, for a pretty good price. Have you watched that one, Pat? The the bar the Ringling Brothers no yeah. that guy that the comedian there who got the job he's very very funny he does Wait, yeah. he, didn't he win American Idol yeah I believe so he he does some one of those things, American Idol or something yeah, yeah. I saw him at Wilkes Barre when we went one year oh, yeah. okay yeah he's very yeah, funny. When, when Big Red was probably about um, when he was just a little red <laughs> yeah when he was about eleven years old twelve years old. Wow. Yeah, he's pretty you gotta watch it before you sell it. He's very funny. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um Kim, I did have some horror the other day. I wasn't planning to come on tonight. T was helping me out. And uh she says, Pat, you wanna come on? I said, Yeah, but I won't 
I'll skip some rounds and uh, just kind of even be along for company. I said I'll sell a couple uh, DVDs, but horror, like I picked out two already for horror, ex the prom night and exorcism. Is that my, am I saying that? The exorcism? Exorcism, yes. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. But I, I found some unique ones even. Um, things that are, you know, are neat, like Planet Earth, Dale, uh, Dale Earnhardt, the, the case. All right. We're going to go once now to Don at 30. Going twice now to Don at 30. And last and final call to Don Bargain Hunter for $30. Going, hey, Skits, when did you sneak in, sweetheart? Welcome. A little going early. Once, yeah. Going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Don for $30. Congratulations, Don. Thank you, Don. I appreciate it. Don, I'll tell you what. Don's very supportive. And yes. He comes on the videos and he comments on it. So I appreciate it. People don't realize how important comments are on YouTube. It, it, it creates uh, more like on Facebook when some comments are likes. It, it brings it up more. So I appreciate when he comments. And he, he's a, a steadfast person that uh, I appreciate it. All right. Lisa's up. Um, I have... Do I sound better now, guys? Sound fantastic. What did you do? Super duper. All right. I have this um, artisan made stash box, wooden, signed by the artist. Um, $20 shipped. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> oh, oh, Robin, you have to stick around for a little bit, okay? Uh oh. <laughs> can I can I stay too, Skittles? Of course you can, cheeseburger. Okay. Just something that uh Robin might want to see. Oh. <laughs> She's slapping her face <laughs> or her head, I should say. What are you starting this off at, Lee? Twenty shipped. It's an shipped. artisan piece. Handcrafted. Handcrafted artisan. Signed. And what are you putting there? Stash box. Stash box. Stash box. Lisa, do you know what kind of wood that is? Or? Uh, it's several, but I don't know exactly right, what they yeah. are. I've seen, I've seen cutting boards made like out of that. I actually had um, a special box made for my mom's ashes from an artist, and it has like nine different kinds of wood it's made out of. It's really pretty. It's an artisan's box, handcrafted. Um, it's, a, it's a stash box. You can put, you know, you want to stash your keys, money. No, shush you. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> I heard that broccoli, Rob. <laughs> Don wants to know, is it a peach? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Skywatcher Sandy, it's um, Sandra. Sandra, sorry. I know you like Sandra. Hide the jewels. Yes. Uh-oh, John Jones says we all heard it. Great. <laughs> $20 ship to start, guys. And there's a little notch here so you can open it from the bottom. All right, guys. Any interest in the box? If not, type pass and we'll move on. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. Okay. 
You have something handy? You want to show something else? He uh, is Robin here still? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So all right, I next know, item up. Um, I don't know if you guys know I'm an artist and I do crafting also. Um, so I decided to make something today and uh well i guess you'll see and then i can explain it after you see it all right guys ready <laughs> i love it <laughs> wait let me get a piece of paper <laughs> <clears throat> this is this is a one this is a one of a kind guys artist made by me <laughs> Robin says that's it I'm canceling my YouTube account <laughs> oh. what are we starting the bid at uh we'll start it at twenty dollars. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. I so, love it. Okay, here's here's the story on it. I didn't um I didn't have a miniature hoodie like she wears her hoodies. So I had a little uh bear sweater that I was saving for something. And then I I had this um mermaid figurine, a vintage one, and I just covered the top of its body and then um I, I took a, a toy and I ripped its arms off <laughs> and I, I attached its arms inside the sleeves of the bear. And then from her video um, of her doing her unboxing of her mermaid tail, I took her, a screenshot of her. Yeah, and, Robin, uh, Robin says it's not the most flattering picture of her. <laughs> <laughs> it was I the only one I could catch when I was pausing it. So I, it would kind of be great on my nightstand, but then my wife would wonder what's going on. Right? Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a deal. I'm gonna make a deal with Lisa. It's not for sale because I'm gonna make a deal with Lisa. She wants some jewelry that I have, so we're gonna do a swap out and I'm gonna take it. <laughs> well, there you go. It's going right. to finish. So, Robin, look out. I'm the new proud owner of the mermaid doll. <laughs> We're gonna maybe we'll have to pass this around the reselling community yes. and, and put it like on our shelf and like see what videos next uh, where Robin travels. <laughs> yeah, perfect. We could have a whole storyline. Yeah, we have a whole we'll go whole to Pat D, we'll go to Paul, and it probably only cost about five bucks to ship it, but we'll have it like all, all across uh, YouTube world. That's all. We'll, we'll, we'll ship it with the, the, every buyer. I've never been so honored and more pissed off in my life. <laughs> so nobody else wants to bid on this, guys? Nobody no. Wants to have it's the cool. it's to tea. Tea's already, tea's already, tea's already, already got dibs on it. Yeah, it's called it. tea. That's it. It's over. And like I said, man, we we could ship that around and, and put it in the bag where, and see if she, did you see what she did to me? No, she put a talking peanut next to my uh, thing for James Aaron Smith, and she goes, "Oh, I was oh, wondering. yes, yes, yes." Okay, she, yes, I, I was sorry. wondering when you were going to catch that. <laughs> People are coming in. Lucinda's like, "What's that?" Hi, everyone. <laughs> All right, thank you, Lisa. We'll work it out. Her and I sold, sold the team. Hit the gavel. I hit the gavel. <laughs> All right, one more look, guys. <laughs> She she uh, she's she's devastated at but at the same time she loves it. Mm, we love you, Robin. No, no, it's all fun here. We just we we love you. We do. Yeah, I hope that doesn't consider as YouTube harassment. No. Yeah. No. She'll be no. She'll, she'll be recording the show. What you notice? Paul hasn't said a word. I know. Paul, Paul doesn't know what we're doing. Paul yeah. has no idea. <laughs> Cool as oh, no there's, idea. there's my hot dog lady. Susan. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Susan's here. Yeah, there she is. Yeah. <laughs> I love that lady. And Courtney's here. Hell, hell, the gang's it's all, all here. <laughs> it's all in love, Robin. You know that. 
Yes. I couldn't help myself when I came across the mermaid figure today and I just threw that together. Exactly. It's one of a kind it, it, work of it, art. What can I say? Right. It, and it's like Robin doing the talk. Flattery. <laughs> 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 Paul laughs like a woman, but I love it. <laughs> All right. Um, she's so glad everyone's here. <laughs> yeah, the only one, unfortunately, we're missing is Adana. She's she's not feeling well. She's laying down. So I told her, go to sleep. Don't worry about being on tonight. She's really not feeling good. Oh, All right. Polo Buddy, can we just show it again really quick? She wants to see it. She wants to oh, know. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I made it because she said mermaid. Handcrafted by Lisa. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll be showing it off enough in the upcoming auctions. <laughs> no worries. I had fun making this. I was laughing while I was making it. I just didn't want her to take it the wrong way. I just thought I just had those things together. And I said, oh, let me give it a shot. And it, it kind of was cute. She very flattered we're all thinking about her. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going to show my next lot, which is going to be a electronic sort of kind of lot. And we're going to start it off with this fast charge stream pad plus brand new in the box, original retail price, which I think they still go for about that. Um, so you guys know what that is. So that's brand new in the box. We're going to start this uh, lot off at $25 shipped. Um, this is a tablet cover. You can take it or leave it, but the tablet I thought was the deal here. Got it in a storage unit. I do not have any accessories or anything for it, so I don't know if it works, but I will tell you the screen is clean. I mean, it looks brand new. It it looks like it's a Windows tablet. I see the Windows sign up in the top, but there's not a scratch, a, a mark, nothing at all on, on it whatsoever, other than my fingerprint I just stuck on there, but it was clear as glass, um, so no cracks or anything. The cover that was on there. All right. And then I have a, um, this is just out of the box, but it is brand new. It's a Samsung Galaxy. Let, let's grab a box. It's an invisible shield glass curve elite. It's for an S9. It's just out of the box. Other than that, oh, that's not even the box for it, actually. No. Is it, it? No, it might be this one because I have a couple of these in here. So this, this is actually the outer part of the outer box, um, and then the screen. So it's you're getting both. Whatever it is, you're getting both. I'm not sure which one goes in which box. I think this is just the the top piece to go on it, and the other one is the bottom piece. So yeah, I think one is the shield curve. They might both be shield curves now that I look at them. Yeah, I guess they both are. I guess they both are. And then there's an extra um, charging port. And um, there's a couple of... These are not for the same model. It's the just unopened two-pack display um, glass things. Look at that original price on there. Um, and another screen protector. That's that one. And now that's just a blank SIM card. I think that's it. Yep. That's oh, there's one of there's a, a cleaning, you know, a cleaning rag, and one of these you to, I guess to put the to put the the screens on. So that's what you guys get. Twenty five dollars shipped. It's the screen protector accessories. 
it's the charger it's the fast charge and the motor roll and the, no windows i think it's windows um case and tablet Oh yeah, I should have disclaimed that. You cannot sell the Otter Box on, on eBay. You can put it maybe somewhere else or you can use it for sale or sell it locally. But yeah, the Otter Box is one thing you will be in trouble, even though I've gotten away with previous ones. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a trademark thing. They don't want you selling. I think they're afraid of, you know, um, aftermarket. But all of this, this was my own personal stuff. So this is all from Verizon. It's all legit. I bought it from Verizon. So everything here, except for the tablet I found in a storage unit, everything else is, um, is good. All right. Any interest? Any interest? Any interest? If not, guys, just type pass. We'll move on. Isn't Bobby Pazelli at 27? Oh, I didn't even, I'm sorry. I probably had my screen. I lost my screen. Yes, I apologize. All right, Bobby at 27. I miss Bobby's, Bobby and uh, it's about to get real. Hey, Jose. Yes, so we have uh, 25 to it's about to get real and Bobby Pazelli at 27. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I, You know what? My, I knocked my stream yard down by accident and then had to pull up my chat. 29 from now. It's about to get real. 30 now from Arthur. Hey, Arthur. How are you, hon? So, yeah. 31 now from Bobby. Is, do you know if the iPad works and if it's unlocked? I, I know nothing. Um, you might have want to hit Jose up. I have a feeling I sent him the charger for it because I didn't. I this was this was a surprise find in that last storage unit I found, and um, I do remember seeing a Windows charger, but I believe it might have went to Jose. So <laughs> you might have to hit him up for it. Thirty three now from it's about to get real. So no, I haven't plugged it in. You know, when we find stuff um, and, and things that are electronic, we don't test them. It's like video games. We're not sure that they work. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know how to tell, honestly. Like I said, I- it You just said Windows, an, an iPad is not Windows. You sure that's not a- I don't know, it looks, like a window. it looks like a Windows sign on it. You know what, maybe if I take it out, I can get a better look at the name, but- there if is that's a, a Windows tablet. It might be a Surface. Oh, okay. It is a Surface. You know what? It, it is. is a Surface. I, I actually think I landed up throwing the box out yesterday. It is a Surface. Ooh. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it's a Surface. Um, and I think I landed up. I had the box and everything, and I thought, oh, I'll never, I'll never find it. And I, I just, for whatever reason, I misplaced this box or. It was in a weird spot that it popped up in, and I already had gotten rid of it. But, yeah, that's what it is. Now that you say that, that's definitely what it is. It's a surface. Yep. Yeah. I think I, I think the box went out in the garbage yes, last night, but if it didn't, I will include the box. Um, and and you'll have to hit Jose up for the charger. I, I still think he might have the charger for it because I I I, well, now I did. That people, now that people know it's a surface, your bids are going way up. Okay. Because that is a good amount of money. Okay. All right. You can't. It won't turn on at all. Um. I I I. It's dead. It's it's it's. You know. It was in a storage unit. I'm right. You know, there's no way. I don't know how to get it out of this case. I wish I could get it out of this case. I'm, I mean, should I just rip the case at this point? I don't know. It should just slide out. Or it should. One, oh, I agree. End, one end is folded in to keep it in there. It's about to get reels at 50 now. All right. Thank you, guys. Bobby, um, it's about to get real. I already did fifty. At fifty, they go five dollar increments. So you just and you knew that already. That's why you bid fifty five. 
<laughs> James said the case is held by hook and loop. It's about no, to get reels at 57. It's so funny. It's not. It's the weirdest case. I'm like, so? I'm like, what the heck? Well, they had to get it in there. <laughs> I know they did. It's like the weirdest thing. I'm having like the weirdest time. Get. I'll have to go ask the man. Excuse me. I'll be right back. All right. It's about to get real at 60. This is the box It's like your laptop and you turn it over. It's a, yeah. Paul has one. That's how he does his drawing and stuff. I can. Bobby's at 65. Yeah, if we can find out what model it is, um, if it's a Surface Pro, they're in the hundreds. All right, it's out. <laughs> it's out. About to get reels at 70. All right, it's... Um... It's refurbished. That doesn't make a difference. All right, I'm just saying. Just so I full disclosure. <laughs> it's what it says on it. I'm just saying. I want everybody to know that. Does it say the model anywhere? <sighs> I mean, that's I guess the charging port, and so, no, that's the charging port. Can you uh, pull up the back? Pull up the back. Yes, I can. Uh -huh, 64 gig. 64 gig. That's nice. Does it say the model? Yep. But surface. I can't read it. Can you read that? All that stuff in there? Uh, T? All right. Oh, you just shut your camera off. Oh, I did. Okay. I will just grab my magnifying glass. Sergeant Sporg, take it easy. What's the matter with Sergeant Sporg? His meds are kicking in. Oh, okay. I, I know how that is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Does that mean I, he, he wants me to go quicker? No, no. He's just going to... Uh, either lay down, go to bed, veg out a little. Oh, he's saying good night. Oh, yes. okay. I'm sorry. All right. So it says Windows RT Surface 01676013175264 64 gig. There's a lot of small, really small print. I. Well, there's a refurbished one. On eBay right now at 130 bucks. Right. Uh, Microsoft Corporation model 1516. Wow, that's a good find, T. Okay. <laughs> See, I, mean, I thought it was a tablet. What did Go I ahead, know? Susan. What's the question, Susan? I got it comped at two hundred. Dolly says, "Yeah, I just, I look, I didn't go through a lot of it, Dolly, but the sixty-four, yeah, there's a couple of thirty-twos out there that are like a hundred bucks." All right. Okay. Well, not I'll only are you getting it this, you're getting um, you're getting the uh, the Morphe brand new sealed. Wait a wait a minute. Susan, how do I get a turn with Robin Mermaid? What does that mean? <laughs> what we were talking about about 
yeah, around. She wants, she wants to make sure she gets in on the, so, she, so she'll have to, it'll probably have to be somebody, once I get it from Lisa, somebody who buys from me, and then they're going to have to promise yeah. to pass it on to the next person. That's right. how that's going to go. <laughs> You're going to do like Christmas um, fruitcake? Yeah, yeah, exactly. A conversation, Paul. Oh, I was <laughs> doing something, I guess. <laughs> okay. Because if you want it, you have to display it on your stand and make it that it stands out in your video. You can um, you can take my turn. No, that's all right. I'll take your turn. Someone is at is at seventy, and I gotta go because the the chat's been going nuts. Okay. So Kim, it, it's about to get reels at seventy. Bobby, what okay. was it sixty five? Okay, and then again, um, besides the um, the surface, you get the morph, brand new sealed in the box. You get um, a couple of the. Uh, I guess screen protectors with the uh, display protectors. There's a bunch of little stuff besides. And if I have the box, I will promise that I, before I put garbage out tonight, I will make sure I did not throw the box away. If I have the box, you guys can have the box. And if I find the charger, I will include the charger. But I'm almost 100% sure Jose has the charger. So you'll have to hit him up. <laughs> it's about to get real, has it at 70 right now. All right, we're going to go once. To, it's about to get real. <laughs> and flipping particles, I, there is the first one listed on eBay is a refurb, and it's at 130 bucks. A refurb is usually good, too. I mean, I buy refurb stuff from Apple all the time. But, and what we're yeah, talking but you about. You know what? That's listed. That's not sold. Uh, you know, you got to always the salt. True. What we're talking about, everybody, is T has what she thought was a, an iPad, but it's actually a, a, a Microsoft Surface. Oh, yeah. uh, Robin's at 75. Uh, I don't have the mermaid yet, Robin, so that doesn't mean you get it. <laughs> Robin wants to take it out of circulation. <laughs> All right. So Bobby's out. All right, and then who else was in? Um, it's about to get, get real. real. Okay. But she shed is at 75. All right. Thank you, Robin. You want her to travel. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to go once then to Robin because she shed at 75. Be afraid, Robin. Be very afraid. All right. So then you guys are going to have to buy from one another to keep that circulating. All right. I'm, I'm totally lost, but that's okay. Going twice now to Robin because she shed at 75. It's about and last and final call to Robin for $75. For the surface and the Morphe and the accessories, going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Robin. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Paul, get on my page. What does that mean? She means stop watching the videos. It's because you're you're not up when we're up and chatting, and you haven't seen the mermaid oh. stuff that has gone down at night on our late nights. <laughs> hey, uh, T. Yes, Ben. I'll be right back. Okay, honey. So even if you skip me for one round, it's okay. Okay. All right. So that was a good buy. Who got it? Robin did because she Robin. said. She said, Robin, that's a good buy there. Um, okay. Uh, once again, everybody that purchases from moi will be entered into a um, mystery giveaway. Da -da 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 -da. Mystery giveaway. And at the, my last item I'm going to do is a huge 18-pound mystery box, $150 value. And all I ask is that you do a, a, a mystery box unboxing video. But for my next item, ladies and gentlemen, I am now going to present 20 old postcards that will average over 100 years old each. And we are going to start this at... Ten dollars. This one. This one. 
This is Merry Christmas. And, you know, if there are Don Morgan comes right in at 10. Thank you, Don. Let me back up a little. They're 100 years old, so you know that you got to expect some damage. This one is birthday greeting. I never heard of a birthday greeting postcard. Uh, 12 from Patricia Kaler and 14 now from Penny, 15 from Don. 1909. A little bit before my time. Hands across the sea. Harley, there you go, Harley. Harley now at 16. 1907. That was the year I think my grandparents were born. Well, my grandfather came over in 1909. He was 16. Nineteen eleven. This one just looks like a photo of something. River or something. This is affections something. Affections offering. To my sweetheart. All right, we have Harley Kitten at 17. 1907. Valentine greetings. They had a postcard for everything back then. A happy new year. Wouldn't even know where to buy a postcard these days. 1908. Mushroom Pixie. Seven. This is Miami Beach. Everybody's in their bathing suits. Yep, it's a hundred year old Twitter. So true, John Jones. So true. This one Baltimore, somewhere in Baltimore. Happy New Year. Nineteen oh six. This one's pretty cool. It's um almost like metal. Happy birthday. Nineteen oh eight. Merry Christmas. This one, someplace in Ohio, Canton, Ohio, the Cortland Hotel, 1933. That's probably the newest one that's in there. All right, Penny Day now at 18. Chesapeake. Nineteen twelve. Church near Keenansville, Maryland, is it? All right. Twenty now from Jill at Finder Cellar. Hi, hey, Jill. 1908, Betterfield, Maryland, nineteen oh seven. Be cool to drive by some of these places and see how much they've changed. So there you have it, 20 postcards, average 100 years old each. All right, and we have Jill at 20. 
Thank you, Jill and Penny and everyone that is bidding. Penny, I answered your post on Facebook if you didn't see it already. Ohio. Canton, Ohio. Oh, Dolly, that's right. You're in Ohio, right? Jill, thank you. Yep, Jill now at 22. Penny went to 21, 22. Notice I'm not abiding by the rules. It's okay. I guess we're getting away from them, but <laughs> just keep it quick, guys. If you're going to do that, just move it quick. Because <laughs> I'm going to move it quick, and I'm going to go once to Penny at 23. Twenty-five from Jill, twenty-six now from Penny. It's pretty cool. The one cent stamp. Nineteen thirty-three, and this is the youngest postcard that I have in this lot. Happy birthday, metal-ish looking. Twenty-seven now from Jill. Penny now at 30. Oh, so the stamp must have fell off here. As I was going to, I was wondering how did they mail this without a stamp? Oh, yes, possibly. 1908. Unless this went um what do they call the guy on the horse? Pony Express and they gave him cash. <laughs> I think Pony Express was over in 1909. Just saying. Famous sanctuary of Auckland near Texacola, Mexico. Wow. All right. Penny says she's out. We'll go once now to Jill at 32. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, going twice now to Jill at 32. Thank you, everyone that is bending, uh, bending, bidding. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry, Linda Lucinda Foster. You don't going have to do one. the dots, Lucinda. Going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Jill at Finder Seller for $32. Thank you, Jill. Congratulations, Jill. All right, now we're out of order. So Lisa, are you ready for something? Oh, Pat's not going now? Well, you know what, now, now we're out of order because he had to pop out of the screen and pop back in. It just helps me keep organized. Okay. All right. You know how that goes. You've been popped out before. <laughs> yeah. One too many times. <laughs> I have a watch lot. Watch uh, lot. Okay. Started 25 shipped. All right. Watch uh, lot. I don't know what. What? $25 shipped to start. Yeah. I don't know anything about the watches. Nothing was tested. Some you might use for parts. Some you might fix up so i don't know it's just it's a grab bag so this one says guess timex indiglo Timex Indiglo. Oh, that's funny, but it's a completely different style. Right. Mark Echo. So like I said, they're in all different conditions. 
Um, U.S. Polo Association. Eddie Bauer. Hamilton. Iger, E I G E R. And it says T Y P A two three two. Need a band. PGA Tour. Geneva needs a pin. Let's go back. Massini. And some of these have scratched uh, crystals. Some of the watch bands aren't attached. Ken Ward now at 25. Gloria Quartz Waterproof. <clears throat> Geneva. Pretty, it's a uh, copper copper tone color Levi's Timex electric Dynabeat Bum equipment. And a Timex Quartz watch face. All right, we have 25 from Ken Ward, who wants to go 27. It's about to get real, is asking to see the Hamilton again. I think that was a gold one. They're all in different conditions. Fix them up, restore them. Um, you could do crafts with them, use them for parts, whatever. I don't, I'm not into watches, so. <clears throat> all right, we're going to go one to Ken at 25. Whoa. 27 now from it's about to get real. I don't want to tilt this too much. No, you don't want the more falling on your laptop. No. no. Not the weight of these lands on my keys. I'm done. <laughs> All right, Ken in at 30. Sylvia, you want to go 32, honey? It's about to get real, goes to 32.
33 now from Sylvia. Whoops. Don't fall. Ken says he's out. Don't fall. All right, we're going to go once to Sylvia, 33 for the watches. Well, it's about to get real come soon. Arthur says he's tempted. Some nice watches in there. All right, let's go once, two. It's about to get real at 34. Going twice now. Hi, Steve. Hey, guy. Hey, Steve. How you doing, hon? Going twice now. Sylvia says she's out. All right, last and final call. It's about to get real at 34. Going once. What a steal for watches. Going twice now. And last and final call. To it's about to get real at $34. Going once. Going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are... Sold. It's about to get real at $34. Congratulations, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Sorry about that. Hey, uh, you, could, you could have waited for me. I didn't need you to do it. A Monaco through the white bag. No, it was in the bottom of the black one, I thought, but maybe not. All right. You can always go out. All right, so I have to do this to bring Pat back in, and then we'll go like that. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Uh, another YouTuber asked me to come and support another new channel so if I would show my face. So I said, yeah. No I'm problem. Yeah, okay. you know, I know what it was like to start new, and, you know, you'd be supportive of uh, the same group. So, you know, just giving back. So, But, hey, you know, as everyone knows, I always do something for the charity, the breast cancer. So this is going to be that time. Um, what I want to do here is it's going to basically be a buy it now. You get 10 assorted DVDs for 10 bucks. So that's it. it it's, so whoever types $10 in the chat, if three people type in $10, you'll get 10, uh, you, you'll get 10 assorted comedy action, uh, Disney. Don uh, wants to give you 25. Okay. Well then, uh, uh, Don, you'll get, uh, two, two sets, but, Anybody that types in ten dollars, like so, if there's five, three people that want it, just type ten dollars, and uh, it'll all uh, be donated uh, to the fight for the one uh, breast cancer foundation. All right, so you're doing something for for Don. I don't know. Now Don's putting ten, so I'm not sure. Don, you put twenty five first, and now ten. So <laughs> yeah, just allow him to retract that. That's fine. All right. Yeah, if you want to retract the twenty five, Don, or you that, want to yeah, that's fine. Double. Yeah, the the goal. You know, the goal is to be honest. These are cost me about four or five dollars to ship. I make five dollars for the charity. I move a bunch, and um, uh, Dolly, it's ten DVDs assorted. For ten dollars, with the full ten dollars going towards the breast cancer uh, charity that I'm a part of, uh, Penny Day, uh, you you want ten Disney? That's not a problem. So if someone says, in other words, if you put if you put ten and you want ten comedy, I can accommodate you. I, I I don't care. That's fine. The only thing I can't accommodate is horror. I can't do ten horror because to be honest, when I go through 200, 300 movies, I can only pull out um, one or two horror movies. So, and basically we're going to only like wait another like 30 seconds and then we'll move on to T. Okay. One Teresa, two Teresa, three Teresa, four Teresa. <laughs> That's how I move on as far as so, seconds. Can we do one Paul, two Paul, three Paul? <laughs> no, it's not enough syllables. Oh, okay. It has to be three syllables. 
And I will put my um, – I'll put the email that you sent it right to the fight for the one at AOL.com, and I'll know that that all goes towards the uh, – how about action? Oh, yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah. We we can do we can do that. I, I, look, I, the money's going towards a good cause. I don't care. And I I bought a couple thousand DVDs uh, two weeks ago. And um, if I can give back and support the cause, uh, I said every auction I do, I will do one time around that I, I'll support the cause. And you know, it's hard to be honest to ask someone for fifty dollars to get a bunch. So if I have a couple people that chip in ten dollars, you know what? They're happy. They get ten movies. I get ten dollars. I still get, in a sense, if four or five people do it, I still get forty or fifty bucks towards the cause, and I'm fine with that. All right. So you have ten Disney to Penny Day, ten to Arthur, ten to Dawn, ten to It's About to Get Real, and last and final call for ten DVDs for ten dollars, all di donated to the breast cancer charity Fight for the One, going once. Going twice. The email address right up there where it says next to Pat D's fight for the one. Yep. He want, wants you to send it directly to the ten dollars directly to the charity. Hey right. Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. Dennis wants one as well. So no you'll problem. get DVDs for ten dollars. Um, and that's uh, the, all of it can go right to fight for the one at AOL.com. Yeah, and it's a it's a it's a five hundred one c set up so you can legally deduct when you do your taxes uh, that it the full ten dollars. And uh, if anyone's watching this on the replay, believe it or not, T, I had that happen like two weeks ago where right. someone sent me a message and said, "Hey, I want one of those lots," and they did one right. one of your loyal followers. So oh, thank that you. That was so nice. Very Thank nice. you. No, that, that's five lots. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you all. All right, guys. Thanks. I guess that means I'm up. That's it. One T, two T, three T. <laughs> all right. I'm going to do a really quick, easy one. Um, if you're interested, type uh, 10. Can you take me off the screen? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested, type in the chat. Um, if you're not, then we'll just pass. This is a stack of cards. They're greeting cards. Um, they're not really vintage. They're just like thank yous. It's $10 shipped. Everybody knows how expensive greeting cards are. Um, everyone has an envelope. Um, I didn't sit here and do this. Whoever had this in the storage unit did this. So I'm, I'm going to start you off at $10. Oh, okay. Thank you, Pat. Because the good, like, even thank you cards when you sell your stuff on eBay. Yeah, like, uh, there's a lot of them in here, too. Um, yeah, you always need cards. And like I said, yes, you know, just to buy one greeting card in the store, you know how that goes, so. Okay, we're at $10. Does anybody want to go $12? We got Patricia at 12 Thank you, Patricia. Let me tell you too. I get sometimes stuff that I buy on eBay from others, and and it's been nice. You get a little thank you card to personalize it. So this little feature, I think, if you know, if you're selling stuff as a reseller, it's nice to get a little message. Yeah, I mean, I, it's going to be crazy if I show you guys all the cards. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you need to. You, but again, you they're not all like you know. This is an apple. Maybe this is a teacher at school or something like that. Because I think, yeah, some most of them are blank inside, so you can write your own now. Are there some that aren't? I guess there's a possibility. I, I didn't really go through them. You know, I mean, here's a little larger with birds on it. Here's an eagle and an American flag on this one. Another bird. Here's a nice one of some kids. Looks like at probably a 4th of July waving their flags. Um, here's a nice flower chair with apples, a nice lake scene. They're just really nice. I mean, here's some sympathy cards now. Hopefully you don't mail those out with your eBay orders. <laughs> uh, Jill would like to know how many, approximately how many there are. Uh, honestly, hold Jill, the, I mean. Hold up the stack, T. Let me see. I'll hold the stack up. I mean. Uh, there's, there's at least 50 there. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, a two, three dollars. I don't even know what they charge for cards half the time anymore. Well, but, even if you go to Dollar General at a dollar a piece, you know what I mean? Right. <clears throat> All right, then there are a couple that are like in a package like this that, you know, I mean, I don't know. You could maybe resell them at besides. You know, they don't all have to be for your personal use. There's that. Um, yeah, there are quite a bit of thank yous. There are quite a bit of thank yous, quite a bit of the same. Um, Patricia is asking, do they have a smell at all? No, not at all. They honestly were in this clothes bin. That's how I found them. And... I mean, they were well organized and everything. There is no smell. There's no yellowing of any um, of the envelopes. I mean, here's one. I mean, and we have Valentine's Day coming up. So you got a little cute, little happy Valentine's Day in there. Here's another one with the little bear with a heart on here. Here's another with a bunny and a, and a heart. Uh, it could be Easter or uh, Valentine's Jill, Day. Jill at Finder Sellers at 14. Thank you, Jill. Um Again, oh, there's some maybe postcards. This is a, you said somebody who was saying it. Paul was saying, oh, I don't even know you. They make postcards anymore. Well, this is what these look like, but the back are set up like a postcard. Right. All right. There's some. There's even some extra envelopes in here. If anything, there's more more um, extra envelopes. If you make a mistake, it looks like here's some more of these yeah. postcards. You got Patricia Kaler, uh, if I'm saying that right, at sixteen. Thank you, Patricia. Um, now the Valentine's. Here's a happy anniversary. Stacy, uh, if you need, you want a bid, you need to go to 18. And anniversary wishes for both of you. Um, happy birthday. Here's another. It's your special day. Another happy birthday. So this is a nice selection of cards. Happy birthday to someone who lights up the room, and it's a picture of a light bulb. So some of them are written in how sweet the years have been. <laughs> There's a couple of those. Uh, Stacy, are you uh, registered? Uh, she doesn't have a wrench. Oh, so uh, then maybe we don't have a registration on Stacy. If she could shoot a quick email, I can check fast. Um, yeah, because we're going to sell this in, in the next minute or so. Yeah, get well wishes, the duckies. Hope uh, Stacey, if you're not registered, Paul has posted. Everyone must register. My great find for you. Um, Thank you, Paul. Just shoot us an email. Special thoughts and wishes. Um, uh oh, if this is a mermaid card, I'm keeping it. No, it's it's a froggy. <laughs> Hat on your back. <laughs> Some of them are cute. Some of them are cute. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm getting near the nitty gritty at the end here. But yeah, I mean, they, they're all cards without envelopes, no smell. Um, here's a nice cute uh, get well. Stacy says she is registered. <sighs> she says she's registered with with my great find for you. Or Donna, I don't know. Or Donna, because there's a difference. If you didn't register with both of us, then I won't have your registration, but I'll check really quick, Stacy. Her channel's good. All right. She says she's registered. Okay, I'll check real quick. It's possible maybe she hasn't come over since she sent the registration in, because some people have been sending the registration. Um. But we got right now. We got to be honest. We got Patricia at sixteen. So if Stacy is interested, she has to go to eighteen. Okay. So, and she's registered with Donna, right? But you got to register with T on this channel. My great finds for you at gmail .com. Yeah, I don't have a registration, Stacy, honey. Just just shoot me an email, okay? All right. Well, I'll, I'll take her bid for now. I'm sure she'll send it. Well, no, she if she wants to bid, she has to go to 18. Cuz okay. Patricia Patricia's first at 16. Okay. Yeah. All right. They say laughter is the best she, medicine. She's out. She's out. So we got Patricia, uh, okay. we're going to say going once to Patricia. All right. It's approximately it looks like about a car, 50 card lot. And that includes shipping, keep in mind. So we're going to say going twice to Patricia. 
going to give it about 25 seconds because of the delay sometimes. Oh, new home. So there really is like such a wide variety. First communion. There really is confirmation. I mean, I think you have a card for everything in here. Warning. The Surgeon General has determined that okay. only is bad for your health. <laughs> We're going to stay sold to Patricia uh, for $16. All right, Patricia. Patricia. Congratulations. Thank you, honey. And uh, uh, T, one more thing, a, a little bonus tonight. Yep. That uh, I'm going to pay five dollars of Patricia's bill, so I'm going to PayPal you five dollars right now. Wow! So, Thank you, for that yep. That's a surprise. She only has to pay eleven dollars. All right. So, uh, Patricia, great deal. Great deal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pat Dees. And Paul Antonelli, you're up. Okay. This is my last one of these DeLonghi ceramic panini grill. $40 shipped. It is very heavy. They are expensive to ship. The box is well worn, shelf worn. This came out of a uh, pallet buy from either Macy's or Kohl's. I have one of these left. This is the last one I have left. Contact grill with coated ceramic plates. It's brand new. It's been out of the box. Sandy has checked everything. She says on this one, the handle has a small scuff mark on the right-hand side, but it could be just fixed with a little black magic marker. And that's it. She says that's the only problem with it. And it's brand new. It's brand new. Never been plugged in or used. Nope. Like I said, these came from a pallet buy that I bought from, we had a Macy's clothes and a Kohl's clothes last year. And uh, I just went to an auction and, and bought a pallet. I have this one left. And I have one more, um, what's the other piece? Oven. A convection oven. But the convection oven, it's like $60 just, just to ship it because it's big. And then I have some milk frothers. But they're brand new. Um, if anybody's interested, $40. And I can tell you right now, half that's going to go to shipping. It's like an elaborate George Foreman grill, I think. If you like paninis... This would be good for you. If anyone's interested. You can't do 20, Don, because that's gonna it's gonna cost me that to ship it. Oh, yeah, Dawn could be on the last item. I don't think there's a big lag, though. Anyone? We're going once on this. Brand new. You could do like Sandy and I do. We're already half done our Christmas shopping for this year. Two passes. Those are $150 on Best Buy. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You don't find DeLong, you don't find this name in Walmart. That's for sure. No, for sure not. <laughs> um, okay, well, we will pass it. If All right, we'll pass it. I will have it. Just uh, You can always email me. Thank you. Paul, do you have something else you can show real quick? Show something else, honey. Show something else. Oh, 
I have a pre-owned CyberShot 10 megapixel camera. I could start this at $20. It's complete. Everything's in there. Booklet. Pamphlets, pamphlets, pamphlets. The disc to download it to the um, computer. The charger. Just to get a charger alone would cost you 20 All right, Cybershot camera, twenty dollars ship to start, guys. There's the battery, and here's the camera. This come from my collection, and I always keep my stuff really nice. What software does it support? Cybershot. Viewer version one, product registration, image station, express upload software. To tell you the truth, I never installed it. I just put the disc in the, um, oh, not the disc, what do they call it? That's where the battery goes. And this. I just put that in, take the pictures, the videos, whatever, take it out. My computer accepts those disks. Yes, Windows 10. That's what I have. My desktop is Windows 10. But actually, yeah, my SD card, my Mac Pro has an SD card reader in it also. Is there a model on it? It's a Sony, um, but is there a model number or something on it? Cybershot. I guess 1250 or 8.1 megapixel. All right. 8.1, yeah, 8.1 meg. You can see no, oh, there it is. DSCW100. No scratches. Christine is at $20. The, Thank you, it, Christine. As long as the SD card comes, there's an SD card, right? Yep, SD okay. and the battery. So as long the as the, well, the question is, will it work with Windows 10? As long as you have that SD card, it will work with any of the Windows uh, 7, 8, 10. It don't matter. Um, if you don't have a slot, you get yourself a little adapter. They sell them for about five or six bucks, and you slide it into that, and then your adapter goes right into the USB port. So it'll work with any of the computers. It's about to get reels in at $22. Thank you. It's about to get real. Yeah, and you can tell you took good uh, care of that camera. Oh, always. I take care of my stuff all and the actually, time. If you have a, someone helping you, your, your your kids or your employees, that'd be a nice backup camera to take pictures to do uh, reselling on um, you know eBay and stuff or Macari. Yeah. And there it is, DSCW100. Yeah, Kim, she, uh, Christine is in at 24, and Kim says, yeah, she has a lot. Yep. You'll be, you would be fine. Yep. Just these two alone would be over $20. The charger and the battery, right? Right. Charger yep. and the battery. And uh, this is just, everything is here the way I bought it. Yeah, Kim, that's what Kim is saying. What I, she's, she needs it for what I said. Yeah, you can do videos too. It's about to get real. Kim is in at 26. Come on, dial. There's the dial. Uh, trying to show the settings. Come on, focus. There you go. There's the settings. So you got video. Um, you got far away. You got portrait. Nighttime. Manual program, program, everything you need. 
we got uh, Patricia Keller in at 28. Um, There's no power cord, Granny. They don't. Co it doesn't come with a power cord. Um, it has the disc, though, the SD card. It doesn't come with a power cord because it has the battery that goes into right. that charger and it has a plug on it that you plug right in your wall, Granny Doe. That's what she's, I think she's asking. Yes. Yeah, see how that goes right into the outlet and that charges your battery. Patricia, you have a double bid, but I, I know it's a mistake because uh, you overrode your, so it's, she's in at $28. All right, thank you everybody for bidding. I have a 790 is but no charger. Yeah, chargers are something that's a I guess you'd call it a bolo. You know, people always talk about it when you go to garage sales and stuff and people sell them for 5 or 10 bucks because they know people lose them all the time or break them always to pick up chargers. Which one is newer? What do you mean? Which one is newer? Oh, that I don't know. Seven ninety. I don't know. T. T. Are you there? Oh, I am here. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, we had Patricia Kaler in at twenty eight. Then she double bid, and Granny Doe is making a bid, but you need to correct it. So I'm going to allow you just to take over on the okay. end. Okay. I was. I'm sorry. I was just trying to give technical uh, questions that people were having. Okay. Yeah, Patricia was at 28, and Granny Joe jumped to 40. I'm assuming Granny Doe wants to jump right to 40, and we allow that. That's fine. And then Patricia comes in at 42. Um, Kim, the question, which one is newer? The, the one you have, how many megapixels is it? Because yes, normally 790. I don't know what the difference would be. Well, typically, the higher megapixels would be the later camera. Like right now, they have a 20 megapixel camera. Okay. It's a couple hundred bucks, but that's what they're on now. It's about 10, 10 megapixel. All right, so yours is the next step up from this because I don't think there was a nine megapixel. It's just like your Wi-Fi stuff. We're, everybody's going to be getting... Um, 5G now pretty soon. So that'll be the newest and best thing. So there's all that. Let me show you the box once more. All right. Granny Doe now 45. Patricia goes to 47. Granny to 50. Patricia now 55. Oh, Kim, plus the other thing is if yours is a regular size camera this one of the big features is it'll fit in your, your shirt pocket as you can see it in my hand yeah do a search do a search on ebay for a charger for a sony 790 whatever it is Okay, so I just need to find a charger. All right, we have Patricia Kaler at 55. We'll go once now. Granny says she's out. If you people are on my uh, YouTube channel and you see some of my earlier real estate videos, um, they're done with this, mm -hmm. this camera. Going twice now to Paul. I'm to Paul. <laughs> to Patricia at 55. <laughs> no problem, Kim. Last and final call to Patricia Keller at $55. Going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Patricia for $55. Congratulations, Patricia. Thank you, Patricia. 
All right, Lisa, Lisa had to step away. Uh, Pat, are you ready with something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, the last. Uh, thank everybody. Some people already sent me money for the charity DVDs I did. So, uh, thank you. Um, this next lot is uh, action-packed drama mixed uh, DVDs. Uh, there's. Thirty-six of them uh, start at uh, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks for action DVDs. Yeah, action mixed drama. Okay. So Mel Gibson, The Patriot, Hellboy Two. I don't. I don't know that. I don't know if that. I don't. That's not a horror movie. High School Music. No, it so. <laughs> the Game. Taken. Everybody Space, Zodiac, The Mummy, The Secret, Urban Cowboy, Cleaner, Derailed, Platoon, The Notebook, Pearl Harbor, The Menace to Society, Ladder 49. Guns on that $25. Steven Seagal, uh, Belly of the Beast. Thank you, Don. SWAT, Eagle Eye, Hot Fuzz. Oh, that's a comedy, but it's all right. It's in the pile. Domino, The Hurt Locker, Miami Vice, uh, Shipping News, The Polar Express, Troy, Hancock, Beautiful Mind, Chocolat, The Born Identity, Want It, Pirates of the Caribbean. Is that, am I saying it right? Some people say Caribbean, some people say Caribbean. Well, Caribbean, Caribbean. The Day After Tomorrow. That's a great movie. Yeah. King Arthur. That was one of the last ones that I had on DVD that I held and, on to. And Persuasion. So it's a good, it's a really good variety of like action. There's probably two comedies in there, um, mixed. Uh, there's some drama in there. Um, and we we got Don at twenty five. Yep, yeah, we have Don at twenty five. All right, we're going to go once to dawn at 25. Did you see the message? Yeah, Paul's mug. I'm sorry to hear that, Julia. Paul's mug. Aww. Now, what you do is take pictures of it, and if anything, if everything is sent priority, uh, if it's packaged and you can show it, uh, you can get reimbursed back for that through the insurance that you get. Uh, you get uh, insurance when you ship things priority mail. It's happened to me about three times in the past year. Out of about 400 ship, it, it happens it, because you the know. Stein was it the Budweiser Stein? Budweiser Stein, Paul's asking Julia. 
Oh, what a shame. And usually anything over one pound gets shipped priority. So yeah, I'm sure Paul's shipped to priority. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so it'll, it'll, oh. take, yeah. All right, I'll take care of it. And usually, uh, Paul, I don't know if you've had file with. They're pretty quick about the the postal service. I shipped a ceramic dog to Rally Roots, and uh, same thing happened. And it was packed good, but just the way they threw the package. Yeah, they like to play kickball sometimes. Yeah. All right, hey, we're gonna call it to Don. So right. 20, twenty-five bucks. Call to Don for twenty-five. Congratulations, hey, uh, Don. I'm gonna throw these two in as a bonus: Cowboys and Aliens, and the Bucket List, buddy. Nice. All right, guys. I guess it's me. T, can you bring me on just for a second? Sure, absolutely, absolutely, positively. I just want to show Patricia, right? Yes. Why? I didn't do this when I was on. I should have. But it's all working. I just wanted to show that it was working. Okay. Um, and Nate asked a question. Yes, Nate. Um, it went out. You should have had it already. I don't I don't remember where you live. He lives but in Pennsylvania with me. Um, Florida to Pennsylvania takes sometimes a day or two longer. It's okay. Okay. But because you I did get a... You did I get a... Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, Paul. I got notification from you that you sent my items like a day or two ago. And yeah. sometimes Florida, Pennsylvania to Florida, there's sometimes an extra day. All right. Yeah, you should have got a tracking number. If not, I can look it up and get it again. And I'm sorry about that, Julia. I will look for your email and I will take care of it. I'll make it right. Okay, T, thank you. All right. You're very welcome. Yeah, guys. I mean, First of all, let me just say this, you know, unfortunately we have no control over the post office, but we want to know, like if something happens, you know, things can, things can get lost. Things can happen. I just heard one of my packages to a regular buyer who I ship to all the time is on its way back to me. Address hasn't changed. Nothing has changed. Don't know why it's going to happen. I'm going to slap the same label on and send it back again. It is what it is. Not sure what happened, but it can happen. Please be understanding when those things happen. I mean, we do, you should be getting tracking numbers. And if things break, yeah, the post office, unfortunately, sometimes likes to play kickball with the packages. We try to, you know, kind of go, and we know it's not Paul's fault. And, and you know, it does, it does happen. Um, but we do want to know. And listen, just bringing that up on another subject, it's not another subject, but it is the same subject. If, if there is ever anything here that you guys purchased that you feel like, it wasn't worth what you paid for it or you're not happy with it we want to know just reach out to the seller and just say hey you know what that last lot you sent me things were you know stains chipped i i didn't know it whatever the case may be we don't want you just quietly going off and never coming back that's not what i'm about i want to know i'm sure everybody else who sells here wants to know so please keep in the loop let us know um, you know, we don't know if you don't tell us. So it's really important. But that being said, happy Easter. I have an Easter lot, <laughs> but I have a big Easter lot. So it might be more of a crafting lot for crafters because it includes these colored pails. Um, and I can um, do $25 shipped on this. Um, it's all of these pails. It is... Um, a bunch of tiny little baskets. I think there's six of the six of the yellow kind of, um, you know, um, off white, uh, beige. I don't know. <laughs> and two little mini purple ones. And then there are several of these little tiny baskets. So I say crafters for this reason as well. Because along with these baskets come these little intricate pieces. And you guys know I'm not a crafter, so I am gonna, I'm not going to sit here and do it. But um, it, you interwind it, I guess, into it to make it more look like a basket than a, a, a little shopping or a little cart like that. So there are 
oh, I don't know, half a dozen of these as well with the with these baskets. So you get all those with the buckets and, and a bunch of stack of these um, interwining. Let's make our own baskets there. Um, also with that is these, they're like little ornaments, uh, spring and Easter. These, these ones have Easter bunnies on them and duckies and I don't know, some Easter trains. And then also I'm going to include some cookie cutters in here. Just didn't know where to stick these cookie cutters. So maybe you're going to do some some crafting uh this cookie cookies <laughs> this cookie stamps and things like that in here uh there's two uh what will wilton uh food writer edible color markers and then there's this um dudley's press and print egg coloring stamp kit and um there's a barbie cake color kit and a pastel icing color um, as well. And all of that. And then the bonus in that is I have one extra one of these. And I have a whole extra stack of these. So two for one here and auctions for you. <laughs> and some extra baskets mini baskets in here as well. So like I said, more of an Easter craft lot. Oh, and two more of the uh, ornament of which I lost one on the floor, <laughs> but another one of those. So spring, that's got some gardening stuff in it. But so that's, that's what you guys will get. All of that. Do we have any Easter crafters? <laughs> do we have any Easter crafters? And I don't, not sure what you do with those, you know, maybe make an Easter tree or a spring tree or hang them outside. I'm not sure. Any interest? Any interest? Any interest? And then double your trouble with two stacks of these. Hey, uh, real quick, uh, I see Donna Teller dropped in. I just want to say hello to Donna. Oh, honey. Hi, Donna. Hope you're feeling better. Any interest, any interest. If not, guys, just type past and we'll move on. All right, we're going to pass. All right, Paul, you're up. That was quick. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to do a Disney piece. Um, it's actually a Burger King Disney piece. Burger King Disney piece. <laughs> uh, it's very rare and very limited. I'm going to start it at $50. Because the only comps I could find were well over a hundred. So let me grab it. This I have two different ones, but I'm gonna just sell this one first. This is a banner. This is a vinyl banner that they used at Burger King to promote Toy Story. It's like 54 inches. I'm six foot, almost six foot one. And it's, well, actually, it's about six foot. I know you can't see the whole thing. Can you adjust the camera to see if you can get it to focus on me? You're asking the wrong person. I don't even know where the camera is. <laughs> there you go. You see it? Yeah. So, let me... Hold on, I'll tell you how... 
wide it is. It's about three feet wide, six feet tall. Toy Story. What this one is with Buzz Lightyear. And it's vinyl. It's in great condition. As you know, as you can relate, I've had this for years. Just never did anything with it. It's been rolled ever since I got it. So if there's any interest, these are very rare. Unless we're a Burger King employee. I'm half the size of that banner. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's I'm six foot and I hid behind it. And I'm no little guy. Any interest? I have th this one. If there's no interest, the only the other one I have is the other one they made, which is Woody. Ugh. So if there's no interest, we will pass it. Um, my wife put your package you sent in my Amazon pile. LOL. The Amazon box threw her off. Oh, yes, because I did. Even though it was a picture, I put it in the uh, Amazon box. Um, do you want to weigh it? Yeah, maybe a pound. Maybe two pounds. Maybe three. Um, if we want to pass it, we can go on to the next person. Guys, go ahead and just type pass in here if you... Um... If you're not interested, how heavy is it, Dolly's asking? Yeah, it's about two pounds. I mean, the vinyl, it's thick vinyl. As you can see, it is it is banner vinyl. There is a little pinhole there, so they must have pinned it down to the wall. We have two passes. All right. You want to show something else quick? Sure. I have one of these left. If you were on here last night, it's all about protection. You guts to have protection. He's a brand new Maxim 11 inch blade with the sheath. This is faux bone. And let me see where. No, I am not. <laughs> Wet pants, shorts. It was like 78 degrees today. What do you want to start this at, Paul? Uh, got to start it at 17. That's where we ended yesterday. Okay. Maxim. You can see yourself in the bottom. And Sorry, Dolly okay. comes in at 17. Thank you, Dolly. Does have the sheath. It's a little sharp. I would imagine you have to sharpen it. Here's the protector. Do your... Anita Fanita, how are you, sweetheart? Anita comes in at 20. Dolly now at 22. Thank you, people, for bidding. Hello, Anita. 24 now from Anita. Thank you, Anita. Do you need me to demonstrate more? Sandy no. doesn't like when I demonstrate. <laughs> Jill at 26. I'm, I'm, uh, Paul, I'm wondering it, when Don mentioned you in underwear, if that drove the bid up. <laughs> they're not underwear. They're they're sweat shorts. They're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're <laughs> Oh my God. Paul, you've lost a few pounds. Ten so far. Good for you. Thank you. 
Sandy's at 10 too, 10 down. Nice. Congratulations. We got Dolls Dolly in at 28. Thank you, Dolly. Yeah, you know, everybody, we, we had to do this um, for health reasons, obviously. But we're using My Fitness Pal. And it's it's free program. It's a free app, and all you're doing basically is following the uh, calorie count. If anybody wants to do it with us, we can keep each other motivated. Hey Dawn, cool. there's two hip chicks. Hey Dawn, how are you, hon? I'm telling you, that, I mean, we gained like ten people. There must be an algorithm that when you mention pole and underwear, the ladies come <laughs> running. No. Well, you know, the, the women, you know. I know. I, I'm thinking yeah. about showing my next item in my underwear. Uh-oh. Never mind. We just lost 10. The women, the <laughs> women no. flock to Paul. <laughs> the women flock to the Paul. Mm -hmm. Can I borrow that knife for a minute? That's right. That's why I need I need to fend them off. Wait, okay. I'm married. Stop it. All right, we're going to go once then at 28 to Dolly. I'm going to put it back. All right, we're going to go twice now to Dolly at 28. If I can put it back. Hey. All right. Last and final call to Dolls Dolly. The $28 going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Dolly for $28. Congratulations. Thank you, Dolly. And your name is going to go in. I think that's the second purchase. So you're going in again for the mystery box. Someone's going to win this mystery box. Don't be late. Mm -hmm -hmm. For my mystery box. Thank you, thank you, thank you, mystery box. Okay. All right. <laughs> We're done singing now. <laughs> thank yeah. God I'm not monetized yet. <laughs> yep. Uh, the mystery box in my underwear. I, I know, Paul. Oh, we're, oh, we're on me again. Well, wow, man, I'm in the city. I had my green screen up earlier. But this is going to be a round that I pass. So I have to stall a little bit so T can get her next lot ready. Oh, is that what you're doing to me? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And T, did you read the message that in a week, bring back the baskets? And I think uh, Kimmy would be interested in them. Um, oh, yeah. And I did. I did forget to show one other item in that basket lot. I just thought it was cute. It was this handmade item that I found. And it's like, I guess they made this homemade. Um, and they had a couple of these little silly plastic eggs with it, I guess. But it was just cute. I guess they made it. Um, this little crocheted hand. So my, my screen time was 20 seconds and I'm done. And I lost out, I <laughs> lost out to a, uh, an Easter basket. No, no. I just <laughs> on here. That's all right. You can have a space. Used to have a minute and a half, and if I get booed off stage, then boo, boo, get that these off. But uh, are you are you ready now, T? I am ready. I'm gonna okay. do. Oh, wait a minute, real quick. I want to say hello to Joy Monken. Sure. I, I I think she said I missed her in the chat yesterday, and she she um. Oh. Uh, <laughs> gave me, she gave yes, me some. I do see a few new people that came in. Um, Marie pa Marie, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Oh um, yeah, Marie Pelletier. How are you? And Robin's back. She, I don't, no, oh, Marie Pelletier, not there. Mary Pelletier. Marie Pelletier. Yeah. I haven't seen Mary Pelletier tonight because I'm going to social show some jewelry now. <laughs> no, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me clarify, Marie. Paul was mentioned in his underwear. I said <laughs> that's what I got to do to get bids. Maybe we just want to go, you know, dark, dark. So I am stalling right now as T gets her stuff ready because she doesn't have her stuff right next to her like Donna does. So mm -hmm. she has to run out to her garage and get her stuff ready. But are you no, ready? Now, not true. I'm ready. I'm okay. ready. Okay. Well, I'm going to throw my, it over my, Hey, Pat. Yes. My next item, I'm going to present it in my Speedos. Okay. 
<laughs> I, I will stand Send them away. All right. So I'm going to show from, from now until we're done, um, I'm going to show some jewelry pieces. Um, I, I do have to apologize. Lisa just took ill really unexpectedly and quickly. She had to leave. Um, so she asked me to say goodbye to everybody. And I just wished her well from everybody. She just, she, she's been fighting a, a sinus headache for a couple of days now. And she just all of a sudden something overcame her. She got nauseous. So she had to leave. And I apologize. Just wanted to let you guys know why we weren't going to Lisa. Um, oh, wow. She she's did, okay. Yeah, I, and I did. I sent her prayers. I told her to touch base with me in the morning. So, guys, just um, just so you know, she didn't just up and go. She just she got really ill and she just had to leave. So, just send prayers and love, and we'll see Lisa again. Um, when are we auctioning again? I'll have to check my calendar. All right. So, I have this again. I'm the person that doesn't know jewelry. So, and Lisa usually helps me with this. I can tell you there is a tag on it that says "Made in Hong Kong," and I'll show you the tag. I. Don't see any markings on it. I'm not sure. I don't know much about it. It's like this elephant with some gold and some jewels on it. And it's like a pendant because it's got a place to put, um, you know, a, a necklace, you know, placed a bezel. I know that's called a bezel, but I do know. <laughs> So it, the tag that's hanging on, it does say, whoops, I had it right the first time, made in Hong Kong. And then there's some gibberish written on the back of it. I have no idea what it says. If anybody knows what that means, maybe you can help. Um, again, I'm not a jewelry person. Even though I picked up a lot of jewelry in my last storage unit, I don't know any of it. But if you guys are familiar with it, and you want to tell me what it is and what it means, maybe you can help me. Um, but it is an elephant. It is with jewels. And that's that's what it is. Any interest? I didn't even give out a price because I don't even know what to price it at. So you guys, uh, I don't know, $10? I have no idea. I mean, it is beautiful. It's really pretty. All right, Julia comes in at 10. Lucinda, honey, we have Julia at 10. Thank you, Courtney. Okay, we have Lucinda 12. Thank you. And Julia now at 14. Lucinda at 15. Thank you, ladies. Um, no, it's not it's not plastic. It's def I don't think it is. I, I mean if it if if it's plastic, it's really well made plastic. <laughs> All right, Julia, now it's 16. Yeah, I don't know. You guys buy a gym here. You'll let me know. All right, she's in now at 20, Lucinda. Thank you, Lucinda. She's out. She's in. She's up. She's down. <laughs> Julia now at 21. Yeah, I mean, it has a nice bezel here at the top. I mean, you can get any size chain, I guess, in there. Um, hold it to your neck. Okay. It's 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 so hard because it's it's a white color, so it's it's hard to show up. It's you know, um, It's a pendant bail. Okay, yeah, I, I, okay. It definitely was an auction item. Okay. Do you say so? <laughs> All 
I'm not alone tonight, Lucinda. What does that mean? <laughs> All right, we have Julia 21. We'll go once to Julia. Lucinda says she's out. Yeah, see, if I do that, you guys can't even see it. I mean, maybe I would have been better off showing it on, on like, you know, a color thing here. And uh, by the way, just so you guys know what's hanging behind me, is all um, strand beads, um, and I'm going to sh be showing those um, next, all right? If anybody makes jewelry. All right, we're going to go twice. Yeah, that's probably more like it, Carmen. It's probably enamel. Because plastic's the wrong word for it, I think. But I'm not the expert. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely not. I don't, you know, I, and I certainly don't want to steer anybody in the wrong direction. Show the top of your sweater. Okay. You mean, you mean the one with... <laughs> yeah, see, it's just... It's my camera, I guess. I don't know. And it's definitely my camera. It doesn't focus well. I, I, I promised myself by the end of next month, I will be able to buy the camera that Paul bought so I can have an external camera. His pictures look so well now. Look so well. All right. Last and final call to Julia for $21. Going once going twice and we are sold to Julia for $21. Thank you, Julia. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm going to do a Scentsy Warmer. This is new in the box, but we just took it out to show everybody what it, what it is. I had a cancellation on this and I know there's some people that wanted it last time. So this is it. This is where the wax goes in there, and there's holes on the top. This is a retired piece. We're going to start at a 25. This is the Coastal Cruiser Warmer from Sensi. And like I said, it's a retired piece, so they're not made anymore. And what were you starting this at, Paul? I'm sorry. 25. Okay. And Sandy's kicking in a bunch of samples with it. So you could try it. They are nice. It, and I'm sure somebody might ask. It is nine inches. Now, is Sensi spelt with or without a T? Scent with a Y. It is. All right. I just wasn't sure if it was without the T or with the T. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. When, once it goes around, look at the back bumper. Right there. See the back bumper and the behind the light? Under the light, I mean. S-C-E-N-T-S-Y. <laughs> Robin, now you're going to make me laugh. <laughs> He's measuring the word. Yes. <laughs> and it's nine inches by... <laughs> It's all about size with you, ladies. It's yeah, a hot core. Paul, I'm confused. Is this made out of wood or ceramic? <laughs> ceramic. Oh, okay. I, I walked away and I came back and I thought you said something about wood. Uh, okay. Just to clarify. I'm sporting a tremendous woody right now. Oh, God. Uh, so this is it. It's retired. Can't get them anymore. They don't make them anymore. Um, $25 to start. Take a look on eBay, see what they're going for. And you get all of those bonus scentsy. And you get all the bonus scents. <laughs> Robin, stop it. <laughs> Nobody's interested. We could pass. Oh, 
we as women need precise measurements. <laughs> it's all about the size. Size matters. <laughs> oh, God. You guys, behave yourselves. <laughs> And as, I don't know if everybody knows about Sensi. These are done. The wax is melted by a light bulb. It's not um, one of the burners that has a hot plate that could possibly catch fire. That's Sensi's big thing is safety. So they use a light bulb to heat up the wax. And then there's holes on the top. And that's how you get the scent. But if nobody's interested, we will pass. All right, guys, just let us know any interest, any interest. If not, we'll pass. Just let us know one way or the other. <laughs> hey, Paul. Yes? Do you have your next item available? Uh, no. Oh, come on. I can go again if you guys want. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, T, T, T. All right. All right, so I'm going to do um, two of these first. They are... what we call or what you guys call because I don't call them anything I call them I don't know what the heck they are <laughs> but they are called oh now I forgot they're called something beads <laughs> they're called um shoot well you guys know what they are you guys know what they are. They're to make jewelry. <laughs> they're to make jewelry. So they're called bead strands. Bead strands. That's what they're called. Yes, T got it right. All right. So they're called bead strands. So this, um, these are actually two tied together, but they're the same. There's four of these strands. So that's two. And, oh, actually, maybe there's five of these strands. Five of these strands, yes. So there's five of these bead strands. Yes. T, what are we going to start these I off? I don't know. We'll start it at $10 shipped, I guess. Um, okay. Five of these. $10, strands. we're going to start out at uh, the, the strands. And then, yeah, the bead strands. And four of these. And four of those. And and this actually did have a price of twenty four dollars on it. Nine, so nine of these things. Uh, B Bill Stoner wants to know how long are they? Okay, I knew that was going to be a question. We were going to need a measurement. Are they be? <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh, we got Patricia in at ten dollars right now, so we got a starting bid. It's a good place to start. Yeah, Robin, you got T all flustered. Um, we got Patricia. Uh, Carmen came in at 12, Patri uh, Barbie uh, 11, and Patricia comes right back at 16. So she'll be right back. She's going to measure. Um, Barbie is out. Thank you. Carmen is back in at uh, 20. And uh, Michelle, uh, Sandra says we can get you some uh, if you need to go inside your uh, item that you have. So if you want to reach out to Paul directly, you can. Okay. Uh, right. We have a bid right now from Carmen at 20. Okay. Thank you, Carmen. All right. So this, like I said, has a one, two, three, four strands on it. And they are all the same size. Um, just some of them are hanging a little bit different than the other. And each strand is? Patricia at 22, Carmen at 24. Each strand is 16 inches on the green. So 16 inches on each strand of the green. So that's four times six. And then again, there's five strands of the black beads and they are Mm -hmm. 
whoops, oopsie, oopsie. They're actually a little over 16, almost 17, actually. Let's just see, not check another one. They would behave themselves and sit straight for me. How we get Carmen in at uh, 24? Pull it 16 times 5 on those. All right, so 16 inches on all the beads. So nine total strands, five in black. And five and in black. Day, uh, we go 26. <clears throat> We're going to say going once right now. All right. We got Patricia back in at 28. Thank you, Patricia. Uh, we got Carmen back in at 30 and Patricia right back at 32. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to say going once right now, and Patricia has the high bid at 32. Now, Carmen's back in at 35, and now Patricia's out. All right, so we're going to say going once right now. 35 is the high bid to Carmen. All right, going once to Carmen at 35. All right, Robin, be safe, honey. Will you leave him work a little late tonight? Be safe. Going twice now to Carmen at 35. And last and final call to Carmen for $35. Ladies and gentlemen, going once, going twice, and we are sold to Carmen at 35. Congratulations, Carmen. Thank you. Who's ready, Paul? Pat's just hanging out. Okay. Oh, our Pat. I don't care. Uh, no, yeah. no, I'm, I'm just hanging out. I, I was happy. You know what? I came on. I sold three lots. I raised fifty dollars for the charity. I, I'm, I'm happy. All right. So, Paul, what do you got? All right. I'm gonna do four jackets. We're gonna start at a twenty-five. All right. The first one we have is a Tommy Hill figure, size medium. Very nice. And it has the Hill figure logo on the sleeve. That's one. Like I said, these are big too. The next one is a woman's Nordica. We got Patricia in at 25. Thank you, Patricia. Nordica small woman's. This is very nice. This is like a ski jacket. All right. Wait a minute. Is that Patricia? Is that a, she says wrong window? Okay. So not sure if that's a bit or not. Yeah, because then I see. Yeah, I thought she just typed it backwards, but okay. Yeah, we'll see. She, I think she's watching two things at the same time. So, all right, no problem. Um, so this is a woman's nautica size small, it's like a ski jacket. Very nice. <laughs> Ken Ward. Patsy's is just as <laughs> good as I can be for the yeah. ladies. <laughs> yes, woman's small. Then we have a North End All Climate Wear, size medium. This is from Mears Transportation. This is like a heavy-duty industrial jacket. Hey, Paul, there was a quick question. I get, Maybe it was on the last jacket. Is that a woman's small? Yes, that's what I just said. Yes, woman's okay. small. Now, Patricia, is that – it's okay. Paul's at 25. Is, is that what you're saying? You want to bid 25? 
If not, we got Firebird in at 25 also. So I want to make sure that we're uh, doing it in order the proper way. If you're at 25, Patricia, type yes. Firebird's a new one for me too. Firebird is actually um, Patricia Shelby's daughter. Um, oh, okay. Little and I Shelby. honestly, I have a mental block and I apologize. I know it's with an S. Little Shelby. Little Shelby, but no, her name starts, I think, with an S. And I, I'm usually good with names, but. All right. Well, this is <laughs> Mears Transportation. Okay, uh, yeah, Fire's at 25, so that's where the bid's at. Thank you, Karen. Little little bit of dirt on here. Oh, Karen, it's Karen. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Sorry. A little, bit of, little bit of dirt on here, but very nice jacket also. And then the Feast of Resistance. Is this one from the Gap? One hundred percent leather, genuine leather. Size doesn't matter. Size China. Size large. Very nice leather jacket. Extremely nice leather jacket. Wonderful. That's, that's jacket. That that jacket's probably five to six pounds. Oh, I think it's more than that. Yeah, I know. So I've mine. Sold, I know. I've sold leather jackets and yeah, that's a nice jacket. In it. Wow. Wow, Paul. That's that's a nice one. So, but this is genuine leather. So you get a leather jacket. Size large. Ooh, that was heavy. <laughs> Ken. I wasn't going to read that. <laughs> what about us extra large people? I call us, us full-figured people. You got this one? Joy Munkin now at 27. Um, the, the jacket is a men's or a women's on the Gap leather. What side are we buttoning that coat down on? Although sometimes that doesn't even matter. I hate to tell you. Yeah, I would imagine it's a men's. Does it say style, number, genuine leather, lining, uh, man, reverse? Firebird now at 29. Um, hmm. I'm buttoning it over here. Holes are over here on my left. Buttons are on my right. Yeah, and sometimes that doesn't even matter. Hmm. Yeah, Sandy says men's. Yeah, I would have to go with men's. I would have to go with men's, Penny. The buttons Very are nice. on the right-hand side. Very heavy. Yeah, it's a men's. The mirrors. But it's got a million pockets everywhere, this one. That's two. The Nordica. Small woman's. See, it says woman's small. Once it's Join now at 31. And it's got some nice designs on, like, the back of the sleeves, all the sleeves. In the oh, back. These are some really nice coats. These are some really nice coats. Yeah. This is like, this could be a little girl's um, ski, ski ski jacket. Yeah. 33 now to Karen. Then, of course, the hill figure. Full zipper with the hill figure on the side. And this is oh, one family of ski coats. Yes, this is a medium. So Tommy Hilfiger medium jacket. Nordica woman's small, or as they say in New York, small. Tommy Hilfiger medium. Thirty-five now to Joy. The Tommy Hill looks vintage. I don't know. Well, that's the way they did the logo on the sleeve. And here's the logo on the inside. 
Where is it made in? That sometimes can tell us too. Is it Korea? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. All right. Good night, Dawn. Thanks for coming in, honey. So, good night, Dawn. Um, Tommy Hill figure, medium, nautica woman's small. Mears, medium. I would call this an industrial work jacket. And they're very heavy. Damn, why do they make these so heavy? Yeah, it is heavy. It's a nice yeah. coat. Leather jacket. That's going to be a $70, $80 resell on eBay. Easy. Easy. I would imagine so. And it does say genuine leather when it when it the camera reads it correctly. Very nice, no rips, no tears. No, it looks in really clean, nice condition. You know, leather sometimes can get worn on the edges and the sleeve yeah. and stuff. That looks beautiful. All right, we have 35 now from Joy. So you get four. Four jackets, these three, and a nice heavy leather. And the winning buyer gets their name put in for Mystery Box. There's someone's going to win the Mystery Box. All right. That is the one that's at 35. Sorry. Uh, the last, my last item, whenever that's going to be. I have a mystery, an 18 pound mystery box, $150 retail value. But for now, we are working on four coats. Sandy's giving me balls. <laughs> Nautica, Tommy Hill figure. All right, Karen says she's out. So we'll go twice now to Joy. Leather jacket, coat. All four. And last and final call to Joy Munkin at $35. She's going to steal this up. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Joy at $35. What a steal. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Joy. All right, let me do another bead. Yeah. So I, I don't I don't even get no screen time. I'm so sorry. You said you were done. Of course you can have oh, screen yeah. time. I, I, I'm not selling things, but I want to say hello to the viewers in the chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> hello, Julie Monken. Hello, Julia. Hello, uh, Donna. Uh, hello, Tim. Hello, Don. Hello, uh, Dennis. Do's not here. Um, Julia. Julia. Hello. Um, um, Ken Ward, hello. Penny Day, hello. Okay, that, that's my... Oh, Anita, uh, again, hello. Uh, Repot at Treasures, hello. Okay, now it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> How to give Pat his FaceTime. Yeah, I need my FaceTime. All right. All right. So I had the one hanging it. This is be, um, strand beads, bead strands again. Um, and the reason I was told that is because it has these, like, I guess the way that they hang is with these things. I mean, I almost am tempted to think like this one was started because these bead strands match the ones in between this bead strand. But who knows? I'm not the jewelry person. You guys are. So let's go ahead and just start this off at whatever you guys want to start it off at. If you guys want measurements, I have my tape here. I can tell you. Until we get some people throwing money at the, at T, I just want to clarify that John Jones, no, you are not chopped liver. Hello. <laughs> All right, yeah, <laughs> that's good. Are we gonna? What are we gonna start this out at? Ten dollars. Yeah, just have them go. Just, on, throw, just them. throw a ten dollar bill out there. Come throw on, throw something folks. out there. Throw something out there. So if we were to measure these one bead strand, it's fourteen inches both sides, so it's twenty eight total. Total 28 inches. There's Patricia with the $10 bill. Thank you, Patricia. And then these two 
um, if I was to go like this and call it, I don't know, what is that? 7, 14, 28 total in length on these two. So that's what you got there. Anybody else interested in how many how many items are here? Two or three? There's three. There's just this one beach strand here. Anybody else interested at Which twelve? Me is you put a clasp on it and you put it around your neck, but that's just me. <laughs> uh, and those two. And we have Patricia at ten. And let's go once to Patricia. And it helps if I'm typing in somewhere. <laughs> All right, we'll go on once to Patricia. And we'll go twice now to Patricia. And last and final call for the bead strands to Patricia for $10. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Patricia at $10. Thank you, Patricia. A.T.? Yes. Could you give me 20 seconds? Absolutely. I can give you all the FaceTime you want. <laughs> no, I just want to say thank you. I'm going to tap out. Okay. Uh, yeah, I appreciate coming on. Uh, last minute you asked me to, if I could join you, but I wasn't really prepared. But um, I appreciate the opportunity, and again, and thanks for the people that supported the charity. And uh, I'll stay up probably in the side chat and watch. And, uh, okay. yeah, you know, just appreciate to come on and be a little lighthearted. Don't have to always be 100% serious. No, never. Yeah. So, well, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's why I, I, I like positive upbeat and stuff like that. And someone, as somebody wrote in the chat, ticked me off <laughs> and yeah. I don't like to get ticked off, you know, and I, and I'm just looking at the video and I saw a couple thumbs down. I'm hoping that uh, us having a little fun sometimes doesn't earn none of that count against you. And <laughs> I, honestly, I personally had a rough week, so this was a little bit of a break to come on and, and kind of hang with everybody. So, uh, I appreciate the time. So, but uh, I'll talk to you guys again. Thanks everybody right, for coming. Uh, I appreciate it. Thanks for having yeah. me on earlier tonight too. I appreciate you thinking of me. Okay. okay. All right, and uh, uh, if we don't talk later, we'll talk tomorrow. Okay, honey. Thank you. Right. you Take care. Have a great yep. night. Yep. Bye -bye. All right. Bye. All right, Paul. What do we got? I have twenty old postcards. This is another lot. Okay. I'm going to start these at 20 okay. since the last ones went way over that. Okay. And these are all average 100 years old. That's the White House. Wow. Is it to anybody important? <laughs> 19, uh, Lindsay oh, Parker. Billingtown, Delaware, one of the cities we were looking to move to. Oh, wow. 1937. That's a young one. Compared to a lot oh, of Oh, yeah, that was the year my mother was born. Wow. Now, what's that one? Doesn't say. 1916? Then another Maryland. Nineteen fourteen. Hotel Sinton, Cincinnati, 1920. This one's coming apart. Congratulations. Nineteen thirteen. I'm amazed at the years on these things. Best wish, best. 
Christmas wishes. 1907. I don't know what that is. Giant cactus. 1908. One cent stamp. Rockefeller Center uh, Boulevard, I mean. So, you know, some people in the chat, and for those of you that don't know postcards or no mail back in these days, Michelle's saying no street addresses, but they weren't because they were mailed. They went to the post office. So I'll, I'll really date myself here now. How many of you have watched Little House on the Prairie when you they went to the mercantile to pick up the mail or they went to the mail? That's basically how the mail went in those days. You went to the post office to pick up your mail. So there was no addresses. They weren't kind of sh delivering them door to door, so to speak. Wow. I don't remember that. Uh, I don't mean when we were growing up, Paul. I meant like oh, okay. if you guys can remember like this, the, the show Little House on the Prairie, that's kind of how the mail was. You went into town to get your mail. That's why there's no street address. What? 1911. Oh, Amazon didn't exist. No, Amazon did not exist. <laughs> I remember getting milk from the milkman delivered. Yeah. 1912. People even said, look, Thanksgiving greetings, Thanksgiving cards. I don't know. Type a one in the chat if you, well, Anita's at 20. <laughs> Let's wait till the bidding's over. I don't even want to ask the question. Yeah, I, I was telling Sandy, I don't, 1916, I don't remember postcards for, you know, Thanksgiving and Easter postcard and right. birthday postcard. 22 from Firebird, 24 now from Anita. 1912. Many happies returns of the day. <laughs> 1908. 08. Firebird now at 26. Yeah, birthday greetings. Uh, you're another year older. Life sucks. 1917. 30 now from Firebird. Nineteen oh seven. Now see that person has a street address, so I guess it depended. Like that was probably the city, because Philly, PA, they probably yep. had some mail set up for those folks. What's this one? I miss you very much. Aww. And then everybody gets to see share your secrets. <laughs> Nineteen eleven. Yeah, if you could read that, good luck. I know the kids today couldn't read it because they're not learning cursive. Mm -hmm. Right, you're not learning a lot of stuff. Like, where does money come from? Yep, maybe that's pretty cool picture. Graphic. The stamps are cool too. I mean, one cent stamp. Yeah, the one cent stamp was um, used on a postcard up until the, I think, World War II. It was the last one. Yes, Julia, they should. So that's it. 20 different cards. As you can see, they're all, I think every, except the 37, I think, is 100 years old, right? Or, yeah. 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 The, the 37. So there you have it 20 postcards. Right, John Jones. John Jones makes a great point. He says, remember back when it was a lot cheaper to send a postcard than make a phone call, if you even had a phone. Now, it's so expensive to mail a letter, you might as well just pick up the phone and call somebody. Yeah. Yep. You no, can call it. Hey, Susan. All right, going once now to Firebird at 30. Anita says she's out. Anne 
and we'll go twice now to Firebird at 30. And last and final call to Karen Firebird, going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Karen for $30. Congratulations, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Paul, you want to go one more time and then you can show your uh, your last uh, big lot there? You want this to be the last? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'll just show my last jewelry lot and then you can get your big box ready. Sounds good. All right. All right, so I have this last piece up here on the wall. Um, this is actually not a bead thing. I don't know what this is. Um, it's very light. It's extremely light. Mm -hmm. I don't even know, you know, what the what the thing is. But there is a clasp. You guys can see that. It is a clasp. It's just very. I don't know. Would you, I, I've heard the word statement piece. Would you call it that? I don't know. But you hear it makes a lot of noise. Um, I, I'm almost tempted to say it looks a little tribal. I don't know. But I don't know. Throw something out there. Again, that's the clasp. It's like a bronze. It's a bronze color. Thank you, Julia. Julia comes in at 10. Thank you, honey. Patricia now at 12. Yeah, it's just unique. It's very different. Julia now at 13. Anita at 15. Julia at 16. Thank you, ladies. Pat at 17. <laughs> Made India, maybe brass. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, but you can hear it. Yes, it is very pretty, Susan. It definitely is. It's it's unique. It's very different. Julia now at eighteen, but it's very it's 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 lightweight. I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't like weigh you down. You look at something like this and you think, oh, it's going to weigh so much, but it, it definitely wouldn't. Um, and it's just it's different. It's really different. And oh. all right, Julia says she's out. We have Anita at twenty five. Patricia at 27. All right, Anita says she's out. We'll go once to Patricia at 27. And guys, I have a lot more jewelry. I'll bring back. Um, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday already. I don't know if I'm going to show with Donna tomorrow night. We'll see. Um, oh, we might do an afternoon. I'm not sure yet. Um, she's been doing these pop-ups, but she's not been feeling well either. So we'll see how it goes. But my next auction too, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a lot more jewelry just to to get rid of some of it. I I, I did get a, quite a bit. Um, I even have another one of those elephants, but it's a little bit different. It's not exactly the same as the one I sold tonight. All right, going twice now. And last, last, I looked at class, but <laughs> last and final call to, Patri to Patricia Kaler at $27, going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Patricia for $27. Thank you, Patricia. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so this is my last sale. The person that gets this, I'll put their name in the um, in the hat also for a chance to win the last piece. This retail value of this is, is very high. I'm not going to mention it again. I did throughout the auction. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm going to start it at $40. It's a mystery box. 18 pounds 
It's worth way more than $40. There's some new items. There's some pre-owned items. I'll mention just a couple of things. There's like a Star Wars piece. Tiffany Cool Finds is at 40 Thank you. All right, Sandy's telling me not to tell him. It's a surprise. 42 now from Penny Day. All right, it's a mystery book. So now from Dolly. We'll leave it there. Like I said, 18 pounds. It's already packed. So this is going to go just as it is. The shipping on this alone is $15. 44 now, 45 now from Tiffany, 46 from Patricia, and 47 from Dolly. And I just also want to mention 51 now to Patricia Kaler. Um, I completely lost my train of thought. Shoot. <laughs> That's what happens when you get old. Oh, don't we know it? We're calling each other. The oh, I know what I wanted to say, guys. This helps us out immensely. If we do things like mystery boxes or big lots, things like that, and you guys have a YouTube channel, it helps us all out if you do an unboxing. So if someone who wins this is is a YouTube creator, you know we appreciate, and you should put Paul Antonelli's name in the um in the title and if you feel so obliged to put from you know on auctions for you in the title it does help all of us because if they search my channel they will find your channel if they search Paul's channel they will find your channel so a lot of those things do help and we have Tiffany at $65 thank you Tiffany yeah even if you're not a creator it's at least it's a it's a foothold to get in to start and you don't you know if you're shy or camera shy I mean, look at the size of the box. You can put it on the table. You can just show your hands. You don't even have to put your face on the camera. You can open the box. You can show the items. And you don't even have to, you know, be on camera, so to speak, if you're camera shy. That's what Lisa did on her last. She's next to it. She opened the box. Oh, look at this. This is what it is. She yeah, didn't that's what I did on hers, too. Yes. So Tiffany's at 65. All right, Tiffany, that means we're going to expect a video from you because we know you're a YouTube creator. <laughs> and sometimes the publicity alone. <laughs> oh, okay. Time to get started. We'll have to get you started, Kim. You know, we'll have you over for coffee one morning. Not literally, but on our coffee channel, and we'll talk about how we get you on. Maybe you first started jumping that screen. We can get you on the to even, camera. Yeah. Even the person that wins this, can yeah, a, a, a box or an unboxing. Oh, Susan, we can help you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go once to Tiffany at sixty-five. Up, oh, Carmen jumps in at 70. Thank you, everybody, for bidding. Gardening. That's okay. Um, my videos from 12 years ago are all real estate. It's about to get real comes in at 75. Oh, we have some gardening people here. I will build a gardening lot. Um, I think I shipped one already to somebody way back when, but I do have another one. So uh, maybe I'll put a, a lot together of gardening stuff tomorrow. All right, going to, oh, no, we've got, it's about to get real at 75. Carmen says she's out. All right, we'll go once to, it's about to get real, Kim, at 75. I think I'll stay on the watcher side. All right. <laughs> Just call it T. All right. Last and final call. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody came in at 80. Oh, $80 now. I didn't type it in the chat yet. <laughs> T. 
Tiffany's back in at 80. Go ahead. You can call it. All right. Going once now to Tiffany at 80. Going twice now. Nope. 85 now. It's about to get real. Okay. Tiffany says she's out. All right. So go ahead. Going once now to It's About to Get Real at 85. Going twice now to It's About to Get Real at 85. And last and final call. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold. It's about to get real at $85. Uh, Joy, he did a couple of times during the auction. Okay, so now we're going to give away, unless you're going to do another item, T. Nope. Nope. Go ahead. Do do your giveaway. Right. There's a bunch of stuff in here. There's single items. There's pins. There's... It's a mystery. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so if you want something to call tonight, you're eligible to win this mystery giveaway. You pull it. I'm going to let Sandy pull it, and I'm going to show the camera. That's We're right. not showing you, Sandy. Don't worry. No worries. Your hands are fine. It's all good. Go ahead. There you go. You give me the hand. Okay. And the winner is Dolly. Dolls, Dolly. Congratulations, Dolly. Yep. Thank you, everybody. And thank you, Dolly. We'll get this out with the rest of your winnings. Thank you, uh, T, for having me again tonight. No problem, Paul. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, everybody, too. I'm signing up for my first kid to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me come back in so I can say goodbye to everybody. Your I'm, still holding, <laughs> I'm still holding the necklace. <laughs> Thank you. Dennis says my name is Dolly. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one problem with that, Dennis. You didn't win anything tonight. It's only to somebody who won something tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Thanks for coming. We'll see you tomorrow. I'll probably do more of those, too. I mean, it's kind of good. It gets the people involved, and it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys want to see more mystery boxes, I keep asking you guys, either after the video's over, put the comments in the chat of what items you'd like to see come back. Like, if you if you really like the mystery boxes or if you like a certain, you know, um, genre that we do, like postcards or games you know i mean we know some of you dennis like the gaming lots and things like that and unfortunately they're not all that easy to come by but when we get them we bring them um and you can always go over to my facebook page auctions for you and you know put your request there too i have a feed there that i asked that question and you guys can put it there as well so um yes bed for both of us and we will in <laughs> tomorrow morning and um, we thank you guys again, always being so loyal. Appreciate you guys. And we'll see you on the next yeah. one. And uh, prayers to Lisa to get better, too, because that yeah, cold and is Don, killing her. Donna, Donna's not feeling and well. Donna, too, yeah. Something going around the YouTube community. Yeah. Love to everyone. Bye, everybody. Thank Bye. you for coming again.